Hello, I think we're all here and good to go. What's up? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. everyone. Oh, all of my preparation is on the wrong tab. Good start. All hello, right. everyone. <laughs> happy, happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. And welcome, welcome back to Tales of the Torn Veil, a D and D live play series by us and podcast, you might be podcast. wondering podcast, podcast. Catchy, podcast. Catchy, word, catchy word buzzword podcast <laughs> podcast podcast <laughs> um and starring uh some wonderful people um who you will find uh let's let's go down the discord list again in order you got a hype um, train let's get down. <gasps> oh my goodness a hype train ready it's very so scary hype train music, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Highly <laughs> suspenseful hype train music. V, thank you so much for the thousand bits. Pushing us Yo. into the hype train. Thank you so much. Let's go. V oh, says, ready. hello, I can't stay long because work is insane, but happy Valentine's Day and may the dice roll in your favor and catch up. Thank you. Yes. I didn't realize thank you, the B. other day. <laughs> I think last week... One of your guys' first rolls was a natural 20, which is how the seagull happened. And then my yeah. first, one of my first rolls was a natural one. So, <laughs> I like this. So far, like this. going well for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, we have a wonderful group of people that we are going to be playing with today. Um, including the wonderful Nye! I said I'd remember or not. Hello. It happened again. Hello, nice. Hello. I play Aluro. I am a half elf druid Hello. with affin with an affinity for cats. Mm. <laughs> Hell yes. We also have J -J -J JC. Hey, it's me, JC. This is my channel. Thanks for being here. <laughs> uh, I'm uh, I play Luto Bayani. He's a big, uh, big old human cleric, as tall as he is wide, and he's got a heart of gold. And his voice is based on my father. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> God, take the voice, the voice inspiration from the people in your family. Uh, and we also have the wonderful Darian Audio. Yeah, that's me. I'm wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Energy. Yes. Yeah. And I am playing Tarquin, who is your friendly neighborhood monk. Goes around kicking ass and having fun while doing that. So and asking that's people it. if they know who he is, which is of course really yes. Important. He's gonna make himself a legend one day. You'll remember his name. Hell yes. Um, we also hopefully have <gasps> returned from uh, returned from the void. We hopefully have Time Bucket! Who? Wait, I thought you were talking about me, Bifon. Bifon the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> never. That's never gonna not get a laugh from me. <laughs> I love it every time. Beef. I love it every Beef. time. Beef on the stairs. Oh my Just enjoying goodness. life, getting back into adventuring. Ah, it's been a long time, dream of mine. And we're going to make it work this time. <laughs> Hell yeah. I like that. I like that. Uh, also, hi, I'm here. Uh, <laughs> I forgot to introduce myself last time. Uh, my name is Ki. Uh, you might know me as Kimiroki on Twitch. Or just key is fine. Uh, <laughs> no, one, no one can say that other thing. Um, but I will be everybody else. The world, the seas, the skies. Uh, 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 but if you're disguised, how are we going to know it's you? <laughs> <laughs> Roll. Um. <laughs> <laughs> And Ludo yes. takes 17 lightning damage. 
<laughs> funny our old 18 um, <laughs> but yes it is so so wonderful to have you all here let's say hello to everybody in chat who's here right now because we are gonna get heckin immersed shortly and we, we don't want you to feel like we're ignoring you because we will be but it will not be out of uh, annoyance or displeasement it will be out of immersion um, so hello to st Stream Elements! <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hello to Zombie V! Hello to Epic Epic Gaming Jams! Uh, Dr. Contrarium! Uh, hello to Yuki! Yes! yes! We love, love Hess! Uh, we got Jazz 3435. I can't read numbers, but I think I did it. Uh, is it the little sunshine? Uh, very fun to say. <laughs> Lovely name. We've got Crystal. We've got Vividly. We got so many wonderful people. And we'll try and shout out a few more people when, when we have break later on. V, thank you but for the 100 bits. So cool to have you. Yes, thank you for the choo choo. Mm -hmm. We already had a choo-choo. We only just got here. <laughs> choo-choo is still going. Just saying. We got two minutes on the choo-choo. Oh, choo -choo. still, still choo-choo going. Um, but yes. Can I keep it the train? Yes. Yeah. Can I? Whole, yes. Whole train. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> whole, whole entire train. Um, but yeah, you guys... Any predictions for today? Ah, uh, Nai! Nai! Yeah! <laughs> we did! <laughs> we did! Thank you crazy. so much, Nai! So crazy. <laughs> I feel like something should happen when people sub. Just, just. Whoa! What the? Whoa, v, V's like, okay, gotta go back. And then she's like, just kidding! <laughs> <laughs> Coming in with the suplex of love. Oh my gosh, and Crystal, thank you guys so much! Crystal pushed us into the next level, thank you! Crystal, thank you, V! More trains! More trains! So much train! Thank you, Nye, um, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Nye, <laughs> my help. Uh, yeah, I do. Oh, oh yeah. with another one, V! Oh my god! V! <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, right. ah! <laughs> Thank you, B. Thank you so much. Bye. I hope work is less insane. Oh, or livably, livably insane. <laughs> if that's a thing. All right. But with all of that business, business done, with all of that um, <laughs> business done, I got words. So many of them. I'm saving them all for the session. Are we all ready yeah. to begin today? Oh my gosh, Watch Together finally actually listened to me. That's what? like the nicest thing it's ever done. It always takes like six attempts to pause it. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, <clears throat> if you missed last week, don't worry, we're about to do a little recap. Um, so. Um, let me just <laughs> organize my 16,000 windows and, um, we shall begin. I feel like I've got to eat the mic to be a DM, you know, just get real open. Um, and let us begin tonight's session. <laughs> my mum wishes us a good evening and I will be putting my phone on do not disturb. Thank you, Mamaraki. <laughs> Thank you, Mama, Mama Rocky, Mama Rocky. Mama Rocky. Thank you. We hey, love you. Mama Rocky. I'm going to tell her the stream says hi, and she's going to be like, what the fuck do you mean? Are you all right? Okay. <laughs> That's, oh, my God. I thought my mom was in the stream. <laughs> it's me. I simply Surprise. want to wish you the best of evenings. Pip, pip, cheerio. <laughs> Surprise special guest, Christine. Um, <laughs> keep donating. We'll see what happens. Um, all right. But if we hit the next level of the hype train, maybe I'll bring your father in too. 
<laughs> oh no, he, he can stay out. Uh, <laughs> you're going to have some form of parental issues if you're playing D&D. All right. It's, just, it's, not, it's not my rules. I'm just following. Anyway, with all that in mind, great start. Let us begin tonight's episode. <laughs> Just double checking. You know, you never know. All right. <clears throat> the skies above us have held secrets for aeons. Some wonder whether that's where the gods lie, or if it's some kind of vast portal that could lead us to them. We know a curtain exists between the planes, having stopped at an osmosis of realms. Though our adventurers may have found signs that that may not indeed be the case. Last time we met our crew, Biffon. <laughs> Sorry, just such a good name. Biffon, Tarquin, Aloro, and Luto. A group of initially individual adventurers bound for the Sky Temple Isles of Ash Sky, floating lands hosting a hunting festival. Together, they figured out the Skyhook transportation system, gaining new friends on the way. Like, literally, the seagull named friends joined the party somewhat unwillingly. We <laughs> learned Tarquin is supposedly a renowned hero, whose name so far is sadly less renowned to others. Bifon was a dab hand at various craftings and aired on the diplomatic side, with Luto cooking up a storm for the group. Laura has a way with cats, and after assisting with a theatre troupe of orphans alongside the rest of their new party, they found themselves with a strange vision of a temple they visited earlier in the hopes of seeking their purpose. What they found there was a strange rift in the fabric of reality, witnessed too by the pilgrim Tefima, who shortly afterwards passed out. Will our adventurers decipher this odd sight? And how shall they fare once the hunt begins proper? Close your eyes, picture this new world before you, and join us as we once again venture into the world of Isifre for the tales of the Torn Vale. Yay. Accidentally timed that perfectly to the music, I'm so happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, where we left off, <laughs> um, we had, uh, let me go get the, get the jams back on. Where we last left off, we were just outside the uh, Shrine of Searching, where this small rift had appeared and soon after disappeared. Um, and the pilgrim to Fima had unfortunately um, fainted from also having witnessed this and on hearing that Aloro had seemingly had a vision of it before it happened um, came as quite a shock um, so after uh, that occurred um, the group would have taken him, probably found his cot in the shrine, just put him there to rest. Um, and that is where we find ourselves, kind of late at night. Um, the evening has definitely descended into nighttime now, uh, with the first hunt coming up in the morning. And you have <laughs> among you, um, unconscious pilgrim and um, the shrine has a very different feel currently as the once very bright reflective uh, surfaces and stones of the of the shrine now have a much cooler hue to them and still feel oddly bright considering the darkness surrounding you but um, small candles and lamps that hang from the ceiling help just to give it that little bit of illumination 
and it has a very magical air to it, especially considering the um, phenomenon you saw just outside not but a few minutes ago. What would you all like to do? I guess we should try to wake him up first. I'll, uh, uh, Ludo will take a knee besides the man and, uh, reach down and give him a big old hearty shake. Hey, <laughs> are you awake? Hello? He kind of start. I, I'd say that's, that's enough to wake him up. <laughs> kind of startles him too. <sighs> oh, it, you're all still here. That's, um... I apologize for that show. Um, it's rather embarrassing. Uh, he definitely looks a little embarrassed that uh, a pilgrim of his standing just kind of fainted <laughs> um, and got as overwhelmed as he did. It's okay. Are you okay? Yes, I assume what happened earlier wasn't a dream, was it? No, it the was very terror? much real. Yes. The tear was real. Okay, well, that's, um... That's interesting. Um... He kind of sits up on his cot a little... Uh, kind of crossing his legs. It's only low down to the floor, so he can be more close to the earth. Um, which is ironic, considering you're on floating aisles. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and he kind of uh, strokes his chin, uh, kind of swinging his legs over the side of the cot. It just... I don't know what that means. You know, for everything that we do here, especially with everything spiritual and especially here at the Shrine of Searching, it just doesn't make sense that such a blatant and concerning vision was seen and that you indeed, friend, saw it before it even occurred. Kind of looks to Aloro, very concerned. Where are we right now again? So you're in the Shrine of Searching, which is kind of off to the uh, westerly side of the aisle. Okay, and of we the main aisle. We saw the torn. We saw the the tear thing uh, yeah. around the corner, right? Or was it here? Yeah, literally just outside, like okay. a few steps outside. Yeah. Uh, while uh, Ludo, while they discussed what happened and uh, help him out, uh, Ludo is going to start looking about and start fixing him a light meal, a little light dinner. Awesome. Um, <laughs> so uh, you you put some rations together easily enough. Um, you, <laughs> I, I suppose. Um, what would what would like a food check be? I guess it would be like a nature check or what's what's one of your higher skill checks? <laughs> athletics. Ath <laughs> Ath <laughs> Ath <laughs> Ath athletics ain't gonna cut it, my guy, I'm afraid. Uh, um, how about survival, survival maybe? medicine? Yeah, survival. Yeah, okay. let's go survival. So ro roll a survival check for me. <laughs> and before we accidentally poison this poor man. <laughs> Okay, 14. Oh, yeah. With a 14, um, you find... <laughs> you find uh, just behind you, uh, next to, like, one of the little... Like, each... All of these buildings are very much kind of similar in how they're built. So some of them have doors, some of them are more open and have kind of archways. Um, but for the most part, they're all cylindrical um, with a dome at the top. Uh, and there's some changes depending on which shrine you go to 
Um, this one's fairly simple. It's mostly open. Uh, there's a couple of kind of closed walls. And uh, along those closed walls, you see kind of the more mosaic y uh, spiritual shrine areas for actual praying and incense and everything. Um, <laughs> what catches Ludo's eye, though, is none of that. Uh, it's more so that there's a salt lamp uh, that is on one of these shrine areas. Um, and it, I mean, what? <laughs> Roll a religion check for me. <laughs> okay, you got that, I think. I do that? No, I don't. I do not do that. Let's see. Okay, <laughs> same result, 14. Okay, you would you would know it has some religious significance, but you would also know that it's more so a tool of spirituality rather than a sacred artifact required in prayer. So, you know, if you were to nick a little bit of the salt off for your cooking, um, might make a pretty spiritual and tasty dish without causing too much offense. Sure, Ludo will certainly slide a, little, a couple of chunky crystals of the salt into his pockets and uh, send up a little bit of thanks to the universe for gifting him with such a nice little unexpected seasoning. Hell yeah. <laughs> you see a god wink, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to add um, god salt to my character sheet. <laughs> Holy question mark salt. Um, <laughs> yeah, but you cook up a little a little dish for him. What, what, does, what does Ludo make? Uh, it's, you know, he's not feeling too well. He just woke up. Maybe just a nice little, uh, consomme. Ooh, okay. Something a little, a little bit of creamy, a little bit of uh, brothy to help wake him up. A tiny bit of spice to help get him back up, you know, help him remember where he is and what he's doing. And I'll, you know what, I'll sprinkle a little, uh, cure light wounds in there. Oh, lovely. Mm. Um, so he, he, uh, you present the food, the consomme to him um he says oh where did where did the soup come from um is it for me yeah because maybe you're dinner time and also you're not feeling too good you got scared by the thing in the wall and oh uh thank you friend um i took some of your salt I, many blessings have... to you I don't have salt here it kind of clocks the salt lamp. Ah, oh, um, okay, that, that's fine. Um, that's fine. <laughs> kind of nods <laughs> at you. <laughs> um, and starts to tuck into the, into the consomme gently. Hmm, tell you what, this shrine of searching really is, it's, if some people doubt its potency, but. I really could have used a soup when I woke up, and now there's soup, so I'm just, you know, I'm not, I'm not here to <laughs> preach, but um, one could certainly make associations. So, do you guys know what that thing was that we saw outside? Kind of ladles another spoon of soup into his mouth. We have no idea, but. We really want to find out that, at least by curiosity, it's impossible to contain. So, if you have any ideas, please enlighten us. Hmm. Well, I'm all for enlightening, uh, but I'm afraid I've as many answers as you. Um, I suspect some. No, I don't know. Um, what I will do though because I'm sure you're all going to be busy with the tournament in the next few days. I'll uh, do some research, see if I can uh, contact any of my hush-hush contacts. You know, we don't want this getting out unnecessarily if we don't need it to. And uh, I'll, I'll report back anything I find if, um, in, in exchange for the, the soup. Is that something fair? Fair enough then we will have a discussion later. Yes, please do uh, kind of stands up and um, kind of remembers his manners. Do please um, head to your accommodations for the night. I wouldn't want to keep you any any longer than you, you've already uh, been kept here. 
Besides, you do have quite a big day tomorrow. With the with the hunt, don't you? Are you not doing the hunt? Oh, we're doing the hunt. Oh, okay. Thank you, Tefima. Oh, of course. No, no issue at all. And um, I'd say I'll be here if you need anything, but I I might not because you know I've got a uh, potential uh, rift in dimensions to check out. So. <laughs> <laughs> kind of one... <laughs> Yeah, go for it. One, one last thing before we go. Um, Bifon, you touched it, right? Yeah. How was that? Electric. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the best I can say about it. Sort of ethereal. Kind of there, but not there. That sounds about right. How do you I feel? Know. Are you peeling okay, Bipon? Oh, I thought she meant peel like potatoes or something like that. No, um, <clears throat> fine, actually. It was just a bit of a jolt. That was all. Hmm. Well, it's good that you're not harmed. How are you doing? Considering you had visions beforehand. I'm all right. I, I don't know what I saw. I didn't, well, I guess it wasn't seeing. It was more of a feeling on the back of my neck, like the hair standing up. And I just knew that I needed to come over here that we needed to come over here. And that's a similar feeling to the ethereal feeling that I felt. It's something inside. The jolt was the only thing I felt on the outside. Hmm. Well, thank you for the information. Um, if anything does develop with your health, though, um, beef beef one, was it? Um, Please do refer yourself to the clerical tents. Um, they should be able to assist you, or indeed at uh, one of the other shrines, perhaps. They should be able to accommodate some form of healing, should you need. I'm sure I'll be okay, but we'll do. Okay, but in the meantime, I will bid you good night and an uneventful night, respectfully, I think would be good for us all. Um, and I'll keep in touch. And he kind of heads back to his his cot and continues eating his soup. <laughs> his his corn <laughs> soup. <laughs> All right, so, I guess we head guess back. We should head back. Yeah. Good <laughs> idea. <laughs> 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 Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> All right. So, unless anyone has anything explicitly they would like to do on the way back, speak now, forever hold your peace. Then, for brevity's sake, we will say that you make your way back up through town uh, towards the sun site which is um, almost uh, back in full repair um, you see that um, heckin I know his name <laughs> <laughs> like is it an I or an L it's neither Erwin Erwin <laughs> um, is still fixing up some of the chairs. Um, Finny the cat is desperately trying to help. Um, still kind of managing to uh, pour and shift some uh, uh, flasks and flagons of ale over to potential customers. Um, Erwin doesn't see you come in, but Finny does and kind of gives you all a nod and... Well, have a wonderful night. See you on the morrow. 
All right, take care, you guys. Need any help? Oh, no, no, no. We'll be more than, more than fine. Uh, thank you. We, uh, your help earlier was more than enough to catch us up a bit. That win is quite, uh, it's quite stubborn. He wants to fix this himself if he can. Or insists that he can. But, there we go. But yes, have a wonderful evening, and we'll see you on the morrow. Kind of goes back to pouring at a at, a, <laughs> at an ale tap. <laughs> Just a cat. Um, <laughs> so you all head up to your rooms and get a long rest. Yay. Yay. <laughs> the chillest, the chillest. Yay! I love that. Um, it's <laughs> and nothing ominous happens during the night. Yay! Oh, some something ominous happens. As uh, right. be, as Bifon and Ludo retreat, uh, you know, re retire to their room. Ludo uh, turns to Bifon with a very dire, serious look on his face. Bifon, there is something I I must tell you. There are two things about me when I sleep. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> One, I have to sleep in the nude. I hope that is all right with you. Same. Really? <laughs> yeah. I've never met anyone else who also sleep in the nude. It's freeing. It is. It just all hang out. You get the air where there's normally no air. It is dry. Very nice. Very dry. Yeah. Everything gets all sticky in your PJs and everything. It's oh, yes, terrible. yes. Also, and this is the terrible part, but I'm sorry, my friend. Mm. I snore. How loud are we talking here? I suppose you will see. It's not that bad. It's probably not that bad. I don't know. I'm usually asleep. And you felt the need to give me a warning. I have, uh, in the past with other friends, have received maybe some comments about the volume of my sleeping. It's okay. Um, it, you'll be okay. It's all right. You'll be all right. Gods above, uh, I'd like to ask, is there a balcony <laughs> on in, in this room somewhere that I could sleep out on? <laughs> um... <laughs> Let me roll. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, uh, high or low? Be high. Fun. Okay. You do not see a balcony. <laughs> but, looking at the, uh, the, um, bowl and water and, um, washing equipment that is, uh, each room is equipped with, you do see a complimentary, uh, pair of, um, little... Uh, sea sponge earplugs. <laughs> By the way, you say you sleep in the nude. Um, you don't happen to carry your pot with you to bed, do you? Oh, um, uh, yeah, it's right here. You need it? That's what's making your snoring so loud. <laughs> oh. But if I don't have my pot, how am I going to be safe? Just leave it beside the bed. Okay. It'll be there in the morning. I'll protect it. Okay. Hmm. He seems a little unsure, but he's willing. <laughs> <laughs> the, the little... Oh. <laughs> Amazing. All right. Sleep, sleep tight, Ludo. Good night. Ludo sleeps on his back. And uh, friends sleeps in the 
the divot of his belly button. <laughs> it still got a still got a hand on him. Uh, not no. He's he's free okay. at this point. Do the little hat. He's gonna he's gonna try and escape. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Um. Can I roll okay. something like animal handling or like like loyalty for life? Uh, can I cast? I don't know. I will also <laughs> assist. <laughs> <laughs> What, what I will say Ceremony. is roll. <laughs> I want to roll a Constitution saving throw. Oh um, no! With with advantage, with help from from Bifon. This will represent your snoring, and if ah. your snoring <laughs> is reduced um, and beats a DC of fifteen, then you will be snoring quietly enough. Okay. To hear friends trying to escape. The first roll is a 13. Okay. The second roll is going to be much better. Yes! <laughs> 17. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you ain't getting um, rid of them. As, as you begin to drift <laughs> into the lulls of sleep, um, you do notice that... Um, Surprisingly, without the reverberation of a giant pot, um, your snores are a lot quieter than usual. <laughs> so much so that you both hear the um, as um, as as friends begins to uh, attempt to take off. What would you like to do? Uh, please. What, what you got, be fun? I'll roll an animal handling. I did say that I would per. I did say that I would help. Yeah, go for it. It's not just to protect the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> the bowl and the bird. Out of thirteen. Okay. I think. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um. What do you? What? Do you, <laughs> Shit. What do, my first roll wasn't a natural one this time. Uh, my second one was. Uh, what uh, do you do to um, try to coax friends into staying people? As I see him leap off of Ludo's belly, I grab him by his little feetsies, <laughs> bring him down slowly, place them up under his belly, and just hold him and cradle him for a little while, just giving him little pets. Loaf mode him. Tell him it's gonna be all <laughs> Yeah, just totally loaf mode him. And tell him everything's gonna be okay. And um, let since I caught him, I'll just let Ludo sleep and place him back on top of the belly once uh once the seagull is done. Once friends is asleep as well. Like like a like a true good loaf, um friends immediately settles into your hands. Um, it seems that he likes he likes big hands. He just finds them real cozy and comfy, um, <laughs> and he settles into them pretty much immediately. And uh, you lay him back on the Ludo tummy, um, <laughs> and he complies, relaxed, un untethered yet, um, not trying to escape. You have successfully. Um, I'm not gonna say apprehended the seagull, uh, but maybe, maybe befriend, maybe befriended the seagull. Okay. Tethered by friendship. <laughs> Sounds good. Aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> Having little Prince Fox moments right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So you all get a long rest. <laughs> um. The snores are nothing uh, insultingly loud, which is good. Um, and once I find the song, you all wake up in the morning feeling like adventurers. Um, I'm not going to go there. Uh, <laughs> uh, is that the song I want? Sure, we'll go for this right now. So, you all wake up in the morning... Um, seeing the fresh sun 
blaring through the windows, through the curtains that you have closed, or indeed not, depending on your preferences. Um, have a little wash, get ready, get your armor back on, or indeed your, just all of your clothes. <laughs> and um, kind of all meet downstairs at the beginning of the day. You see that the um, sun site is pretty much what you'd assume is back to normal. Uh, all furniture is in place. It's very quiet, other than a few still snoring hunters from the night before. Um, you see uh, Erwin kind of sleepily uh, cleaning up the bar and the bar top, and uh, Finny asleep in his little basket at the side of the bar. But the day is new, the day is yours, you have a little bit of time before the hunt is due to begin. What would you like to do? Hmm. Well, I'm going to go see how Finny's doing. Yeah, he's currently asleep in his basket. Oh, he's asleep? Okay. I guess I'll just um, wait for the inevitable. I'm pretty sure that my roommate is going to want to make breakfast for everybody. <laughs> Fair. Um, Ludo, when you do wake up, you realize that um, friends, friends hasn't moved again. If anything, friends has only moved to get more comfy, Aww. and uh, has made no further attempts to escape. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, Ludo's gonna get dressed, get ready, put on, put on his armor, get his everything. The whole time he's looking at friends with a kind of a curious look. And he's gonna head downstairs with friends on his shoulder and see Bifon there. And I don't know if Al and um, Tarquin are already there as well. Yeah. Indeed, my friend. Excellent. He's gonna approach the table with his friends and set down uh, set down friends right in the center of the table. <laughs> he did uh before did friends do anything last night? I noticed he was uh he's a little extra cozy than before. He's maybe maybe he's starting to like us. He's very well behaved. A true gentleman. As were you. Thank you for not snoring so loud. You know, I think the pot, it makes like my voice very louder with the bouncing of the metal. So maybe I think to have not the pot is make even quieter the noise. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Everybody I had else an... sleep. Oh, What's yeah. Up? So those were snores? <laughs> I thought there was a storm in the next room. <laughs> Bifon yeah. said it's not very loud. It was still definitely noticeable not by as loud other as you made adjacent it out rooms. <laughs> yeah. We were at adjacent rooms, yes. It didn't it didn't wake anyone up, but it was definitely noticeable <laughs> to anyone who was conscious at the time. <laughs> you see L Ludo's very uh very Anxious and upset at the thought of maybe disturbing his new made friends. It, 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 it didn't bother you, I hope. It wasn't too much. No, no. no. Oh. Hey. Tarquin, it, it, was the storm maybe a quiet storm? It was a good storm, don't worry. No one is dead, everyone survived. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was the seagull though. just pretend it was the seagull it wasn't me <laughs> he'll look to Al with kind of pleading eyes it was fine it was fine you're fine nothing good. to worry about very very good today because we have a very important day and we have a new friend named Prince I'm going to make us all a very ah. special breakfast ooh ooh uh, Ludo is going to cast Ceremony, which <gasps> takes an hour. Hell and yeah. there's 
six. Okay, so the ceremony has six settings, I guess. There's atonement, bless water, coming of age, dedication, funeral rite, and wedding. I'm not I sure which of these. Maybe a dedication I, to each other? should be a homebrewed one on there. <gasps> I see um, nothing. What the heck, man? <laughs> I, made, I made you a specific cooking one. I don't know. God. Let me check. Hold on. Uh, no spells. It's probably my fault, because homebrewing shit is new to me in an official pattern. Maybe I need um, to add it as a spell? Why do I have so many spells? <laughs> uh, cleric will do it. Um, you are cleric. And... Let me see. Uh, I can find it real quick if not. But yeah, it would still take an hour, so. Um, okay. Basically, I spend extra point. time. Um, I'll be explaining each of the steps along the way to um, to friends. Kind of like a reverse Ratatouille. Ah! Ah! <laughs> 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 And I'll make an extra nice meal to kind of bless us on our day and, you know, signify us as our first full day together as an adventuring party and to friends deciding to stay with us, hopefully. <laughs> that's, not for, that's not for me to answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you do make... Um, I, can't, I can't find it. I'm very sad. Um, but you do manage to make... A big, a big, very good, very nice meal for everybody. Oh, thank it is you. Um, yeah. Would you like to describe cooking mama style? What what you have created? <laughs> it's a very nice meal. It's very delicious. No, I'll hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, what better meal to uh, to celebrate our first day together than good old uh, pancakes and sausages? Pigs in a blanket. Ooh. And a freshly Hell made yeah. uh, a freshly made syrup that is uh, slightly tomato based. Tastes oddly a little bit like ketchup. Huh? Uh, that, that's hey. two Tarquin points for you. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Tarquin will remember this. <laughs> um, what's your passive perception, Ludo? Let's Actually, see. what's everyone's passive perception? I think everyone would would be here for this. 13. Okay. 13 as well. Okay. What do you mean when you say uh, passive? So un it should be underneath your saving throws. It's uh, There's like a little box that has like passive insight, passive perception, passive insight. Investigation. Yeah, that one. Mm. <laughs> oh, I cannot find the spell. Maybe I'm lying. You do have a special ceremony thing, though. I will find it. Twelve. Nice! So everyone except Alara. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> After all that. Um, everybody except Alara, you do see... How many... How many of... Pigs in blankets? Did you make? Did you make like enough for everyone to have a couple? Yeah, maybe enough for each person to have uh, three or four. Maybe some extras we can pack for later. Okay. Um, I will say one of them is gone. Um, and you do see, uh, you do see friends beginning to make his way to another. Oh, nice. Sure, have it. <laughs> You're part of the group now too. You gotta eat up. We're gonna be killing monsters today. And as as all seagulls do, very in a very disturbing way, like a anaconda <laughs> eating a goat. <laughs> um, you see <laughs> this seagull, uh, no pun intended, go ham on this uh, pig in a blanket and just just choke it down until it is gone. Approximately two and a half seconds later. <laughs> Very Beautiful cool. nature. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> I don't like birds. I normally don't like birds, but this guy, this guy. <laughs> it's 
like fate brought us together or me plucking him from out of the sky. <laughs> Either one. I'm fate not sure. Fate brought which. us together when I stole you from life. <laughs> <laughs> when I ripped you from your habitat. Um, all right. Well, with all of that s sorted out, is there anything you would like to do before the hunt begins? I'm good to go. Okay, cool. So yeah, no, got no nothing. <laughs> that's fine. That's totally fine. So you uh, make your way outside of the sun's sight. Um, you get a little uh, two finger salute from Erwin. Um, I good luck out there. Don't die, all right. You're good customers. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Um, <laughs> make your way out. Uh, you see, where it was all fairly chill and calm yesterday, there were a lot of people, but it was it was mostly just a relaxed atmosphere of people getting used to their surroundings. Uh, today is a different story. There is a lot of hubbub as adventurers are tripping over their own toes to get to their equipment and get to uh, make sure they have food, make sure their armor's all polished up and ready. Um, you see uh, a little group of kobolds, like, reading uh, monster guides, but they're all upside down. Not the kobolds, the books. Uh, you then see a group of acrobats who are upside down. Uh, <laughs> you see just a huge hubbub uh, going on. Um, and just as you uh, make your way back from uh, the center of town into the um, tent areas, uh, you hear um, the horns blare all around again. The first groups to make their way to the hunt are now required. This includes, and she lists off a whole bunch of names, and eventually, as well as the group with Alura, Bip. Bifon, Luto, and Turquin, please make your way to the nearest boat port, and you will be transported to the first mission. Thank you. So, um, you see people all kind of looking around, some people frustrated that they're not going up yet. Uh, but indeed you have all been called the Hunt Beckons. And uh, you see kind of uh, over to the eastern side of the island, um, kind of just past the tents almost where you landed uh, after the first time using the claw hook, uh, you, you see just a whole bunch of miniature air um, rowing boats, for lack of a better word. And uh, they all have these kind of small, small engines on the back and small kind of wing-shaped um, adornments on the back. And uh, each enough to carry, you know, around four people, appropriately. And uh, you see a crew member kind of there with a, a clipboard. Uh, kind of a yellow dragonborn man. Um, and uh, has some little glasses on. So, uh, all right, uh, any adventurers here that have just been called? Present yourselves. Say, you wouldn't happen to be the manager for Christy, would you? Oh, gods above, what has she done now? No, 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 she's great. She's absolutely, she's superb. Um, we, we just wanted to pass along a good word for her. He's going to insight check service. you. <laughs> He's gonna insight check you. Um, roll a persuasion <laughs> check for me, please. <laughs> Get um. On a nat 20, this is gonna be like the best Yelp review in history. <laughs> <laughs> oh, only a nine. Oh no. That, that's all right. Can uh, we, can I, we, and forgive me if I'm using this word wrong. Could we chuff her, chuff her up? Is that it? I don't know. 
<laughs> I would be concerned if someone would say that to me, okay. but I wouldn't know why. Uh, well, um, we, there would be no explicit reason we, as to why I'd be concerned. Uh, allow, um, me, allow me to explain. Uh, Ludo uh, emphatically agrees that Christy was great. Yeah, you. I would say, yeah, roll at advantage, because uh, Bifon and Ludo have both agreed with your statement. So roll again and take right. the higher number. Ooh, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Ooh. 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 Okay. 14. Beautiful. So I will say for, um, for gameplay purposes, uh, <laughs> unexpected bagging item in checking area. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's not even how that phrase goes, I'm so tired. Uh, <laughs> I will say for the sake of gameplay, the nine would have succeeded, for he also rolled a nine. Oh. Um, I have, uh, we'll say if everyone's happy to, um, because my, my general home rules are that if a rule applies to you guys, it also applies to any NPCs or enemies. Um, so I always go the roll, if it's the same roll, we can either do rollies, because fun, uh, or uh, we give the roll to the person who's defending. So, um, technically, I rolled the initiating roll that time. So you would have won anyway because you were doing the. Yeah, I explained it badly, but it'll come up again. So don't worry. But yeah. <laughs> so basically, um, Ty goes to the to the defender. Yes. Okay. Sounds good. I think yes. <laughs> don't quote me on that. <laughs> it's it's fine. Yes. Uh, yes. So uh, he looks at, kind of looks at you over his little like half moon uh, glasses, and well, that is uh, good to hear. She's she's very nervous. You know, I wasn't sure she'd be able to cut it as a event crew member. Alas, it seems that she's doing very well. So uh, I will note down. Uh, I will note down your comments. Thank you very much. Right, you also the uh, group that we were looking for? With Valoro, uh, Buffon, Luto, and T Tarquin? Yes, you are correct. Remember the name. <laughs> Which one? There was four of them. Tarquin. <laughs> <laughs> can, I ro can I roll? First roll of the day. Does this person know who Tarquin is? Nope. I love that I'm canonically rolling bad on these. <laughs> like, just from the get go, I'm not rolling good on these. He's um, on the blacklist. <laughs> <laughs> Snipers, get ready. Uh. <laughs> He goes, Tarquin. I mean, it's not that hard to remember. Honestly, it would kind of be embarrassing if someone forgot it just because it's so simple a name. Really. All right, get in the yeah. boat. All right, keep your arms and legs in the vehicle at all times. Don't jump. Don't do any nonsense shit with it. Uh, don't piss me off. Uh, have you got any questions going in? Wonderful. Now I like your group. So, <laughs> you all climb into the boat. And, uh, song for going on the boat. Boop. <laughs> Very natural transitions. Um, oh, it's the same song. I have the same song twice. Good to know. Uh, <laughs> great. <laughs> We're doing good. So, you all get in the get in the boat and uh, make your way to the Ashen Forest Isle. Um, despite what you were slightly expecting, with the kind of main isle of uh, these isles being as large as it, as it is, you weren't particularly expecting any of the other isles to come up anywhere near as big as this main isle. Uh, however, as you're kind of floating down 
uh, past the side of the main aisle, kind of through some of the spray of the falling waterfalls from the side, uh, you do see just in the distance a just a very foresty aisle uh, that is barely smaller than the main aisle itself. Uh, it is surprisingly large. Um, you do also see two other boats, uh, boat ships, <laughs> ship ship boats, uh, heading over uh, in that general direction, but from two different directions. So you're kind of heading mainline from the main island itself, uh, kind of in a north, a northeasterly direction. Uh, you see these others coming in from a westerly direction and also from an easterly direction. Um, you may roll a perception check if you would like to suss out the competition. Um, Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go for it. Uh, as you do, uh, you hear over the over the D and D tannoys. Uh, <laughs> um, the first hunt contestants are making their way as we speak. For those who are unaware, the first round of the competition is the traditional hunt. The job of our contestants is to find, track down, locate, and possibly identify this creature. They then must apprehend the creature, ideally through peaceful means, but through whatever means are necessary. And the first team in order to do so will succeed. Each team in their boats We'll find... I didn't come up with a word. <laughs> Names 36 people. I haven't come up with a name for boat. I'm sorry. I like it. Boat. It works. <laughs> each, <laughs> each team will find in their boat a small... A small... A small <laughs> horn that they must blow on vanquishing the creature. This is very important as if they do not do so, their points will not count. And of course, if their points don't count, then they are less likely to be making their way to the next round. And you guys are like, would have been nice if they told us this information before we got on the boat, but there you go. Um, and you do indeed find uh, under uh, the seats of the boat, just like easily fits in one hand, just kind of this um, almost looks like a drinking horn uh, shaped contraption because horn, horn's gonna horn. Um, and it's got like a little uh, string around it so that you can sling it over a, over your neck or over an arm. Um, so who would like to take the, who would like, <laughs> happy Valentine's Day, who would like to take the horn? Allura <laughs> 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 <Hey. laughs> will take the horn. Okay. Okay. So, Allura, you have the horn, no pressure. Okie dokie. <laughs> so, what did we get on the perception checks? I got a 20. Not natural? No. Or dirty. Dirty. Dirty, dirty 20. <laughs> dirty 20. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> uh, DM, I will take the horn and a dirty 20. Uh, before <laughs> <more> we go. <laughs> got a 14. <laughs> Okie doke, Ludo. Uh, 19. Okay, and Tarkin? <laughs> Tarquin. Here it goes, here it goes. Okay. It's an 18 plus 21. Ooh. Nice! Ooh. So, everyone except Bifon. Bifon, you do, you see that there are other people in the boats, which is slightly disappointing, because it, it would be a lot easier if there weren't. Um... You do see kind of a vague silhouette of um, potentially a tiefling in one of the boats. The other boat, y you can kind of tell there's someone in it, but you don't explicitly kind of see anyone. Uh, everyone else, um, you are able to identify in the boat coming from the east um, that there is a tiefling. There is a... Uh, another humanoid of some form. And what appears to be um, a couple of shorter team members, potentially dwarves or halflings. Or gnomes. Um, 
The other boat, again, it's kind of it's kind of hard to tell. Um, Tarquin. Yes. Hero knows hero. <laughs> Uh, in that boat, coming from the east, there's only one person. Mm -hmm. They're- they're- they're here to try and solo that shit. Damn. And they do appear to be, again, of a shore stature. So either a halfling, dwarf, or gnome. Information! Uh, okay! Can I- can I tell anything else? Like, uh... I don't know, any features, something specific? I'll let you roll an investigation check with a 21. Okay. Go on, then. <laughs> and that's a five. <laughs> awesome. Um, <laughs> it's uh, still alive, that's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Tarquin, Tarquin knows that anything Tarquin doesn't know isn't worth knowing. Exactly. So <laughs> <laughs> that's that's where we stand for that. Um, don't fucking matter, man. But you know that they cool and they're trying to solo that. Um, so anything you'd like to say to each other before approaching the aisle? And I'll only like cue these kinds of conversations in these earlier sessions. After that, I'll let them either happen or not more naturally. So. Do not uh, worry. Uh, does anybody remember? Oh, yeah. No, go ahead. <laughs> oh, does anybody remember what we're hunting? I they said think some. We got that information. Yeah, they said some kind of beast, and that we should take them peacefully, if possible. Oh, I wonder if it will be delicious. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's exactly what taking a beast peacefully uh, means um, I'm going to take the beast feastfully <laughs> I mean we could Let's... always say that it willingly became a meal so it won't be much of a problem okay so we take it peacefully that way it's fresh and then we find and then we make sure that we eat it after we turn it in yes Beast feast. Beast Sounds feast. <laughs> I like the sound of that. <laughs> Is it, we're still looking. I'm like just subconsciously like keeping eyes out for things that could be team names. And we have like team friends. But team beast feast. <laughs> team beast feast has got a ring to it. <laughs> so. With all of that uh, conversation happening, you find that uh, all of the boats land at their respective areas of the isle, um, ready to compete. Um, as you approach, you see a small illusion that says, wait for the horn. Um, and um, you may roll an investigation check or any perception checks, even nature checks, any initial checks, kind of as you are on the edge of this forest. This fairly dense, thick forest, uh, mostly kind of pine trees, uh, some other oaky, more oaky trees um, with red leaves, but it's mostly greenish, uh, some slightly yellowing uh, and red leaves on this island. Can I use survival? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Nice. I just Ooh. got a 23 on survival to see uh, how many ingredients are around me. And in this area. Coming. Yeah, Ludo sees everything through the lens of eating it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's a really high roll for what's edible here. Um, everything here is edible enough if you put your mind to it, except for this one pink flower that you see blooming at the bottom of a tree. <gasps> I'll find that, a way. That, that's pretty, it's pretty toxic. Okay, good to know. I will, uh, I will take the flower and I will begin to scrape off some tree bark while we wait for the horn. Okie doke. <laughs> add, add poisonous flower <laughs> and mm. pine tree bark to your inventory. <laughs> Delightful. I'll say three servings of pine tree bark. Why not? 
Um, what about everybody else? Hmm. I rolled I a, a 18. Yeah, go. Sorry. Tarquin, yeah, you what, go what first. Are you, yeah. what, are you, what are you looking for? Anything? Well, basically, with the with this roll, I was with survival. You know, it's basically used for tracking or stuff like that. So I wanted okay. to get us uh, kind of a head start and see in which direction we could go as soon as uh, the thing yeah. starts and we can begin to track. You see multiple... Uh, sets of beastly footprints heading into the forest. Um, one of the sets, however, though significantly larger, um, doesn't kind of originate from outside of the forest, where, kind of where you're standing on the edge of this forest. It kind of curves um, coming towards the edge of the forest and then curves back in, which mm -hmm. says to you that that creature has been here for longer rather than was put here and then wandered into the forest um, Good. just to distract people. That's just what I wanted to know. Yeah. Allura! I, ro I rolled a nature check and I got a seven. Well, we're, what are you looking for in terms of nature? <laughs> um, I was kind of looking for a starting place as well. Okay, um... um... You see a lot of tracks. <laughs> um, you do notice one of the set of tracks is like a big cat, though. That's cool. I like big cats. Oh. <laughs> but you, and you get a little bit distracted by the thought of big cats. Because <laughs> they're cool. You're yeah. Like, oh, is it like a lion? Is it like a tiger? They all have fairly similar paw pad prints and like footprint tracks. And... <laughs> Although, like, with this being more of a, like, deciduous forest, it just kind of goes on like that in your mind. Um, Beefle. What, what do you well, I think my brain is pretty foggy. Probably from a rough sleep. Because uh, I rolled a seven on insight. And that mm. was to figure out what we may be hunting and what their habits might be in this particular territory. Okay. Um... Like, will we find them in trees, bushes, things like that? Yeah. Um, you're just trying to s just check out the vibe of this creature with... Okay. Yeah. I'd say with a seven, it's not going to be towards the edges. Because who who would want to be near the edges of a floating fucking island? I'd, I'd say that's a fair, a, a fair seven observation. <laughs> it's like, it's like common sense, but some people might not think about it. Um, mm. so with that, you hear, contestant, <laughs> it's just turning into gladiators. <laughs> Contenders, ready. <laughs> um, and you just hear the <laughs> of the horn and the the, the illusion dissipates and you see one replace it that says go <laughs> and it's time to go what are we doing all right i'm stepping forward and uh, i'm gonna kind of crouch a little bit to touch the the floor and see if i can scent or or perceive more of the creature so that i can yeah. follow the foot the the marks and and all the steps that it took yeah, I'll say with your last roll, you're fairly confident that the uh, tracks you saw to begin with are the right tracks that All right. should be followed. So you can well, relay that to the party at your own will. I've gathered some information here. There seems to be quite a large number of creatures in the area, but one of them is larger than the other, so I think we should follow these tracks. I trust him. Lead the way. Are the the trees tall in this area? They're fairly tall. Um, uh, they're not like, um, they're not like a new level of tall that you've never experienced. But it's not like a super claustrophobic forest either. It's just very dense, more so. Um, with the I with would the leaf canopy. Mm hmm. Yeah, I would cool. love to cast spider climb and climb up a tree, <gasps> see if I can get a high vantage point, uh, given what yeah. Tarquin was saying. Absolutely so I'm gonna cast fucking it. go for it. Yeah, there's no roll for that, I don't think. You just... Nope, so I cast it. 
and <laughs> Aluro climbs like a spider up one of the taller trees uh, amongst the footprints. And can I can I roll? I guess perception or yeah, perception. I'll allow perception, investigation, or survival. So, oh, that's going. It's going well for the other teams. It's going so well. For, oh my god, they're doing. They're doing so good. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, great. All right, thirteen. Thirteen. Um, you see some trees kind of just to the northeast um i'm terrible with depth perception and distances um uh you see like uh three buses ahead of where you are uh you see some trees kind of not so much rustling not so much moving but shift from some form of large pressure you can safely assume that that's where the creature is. Hey, you guys! There's, um, a break in the trees over this way. And it looks like they're moving due to some immense pressure. Probably some movement of the beast. What do we think? Run or sneak? Hmm... I mean, how big can that beast be? I think we could take him. I mean, run there or sneak there? Hmm. Well, everything's been working out just fine. Since this is our first time together, maybe we take our time. I'm very good at sneaking. <laughs> we'll do it silently then. I will okay. stay in the back. Plan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, hold you on climb to back. your pen and the seagull, please. <laughs> <laughs> One in each hand. <laughs> uh, you climbing back down then, Alora? Yep, I'm climbing back down. Okay, I would like everyone to make two rolls for me, and this will go into Ooh. a gr a group pool. Um, so we need a group stealth check, and then we'll need a group survival check to make sure that you're not doing the thing where you, you try and go in a straight line and then accidentally end up going in a circle. Okay, I'm going to be nice. pretty good at one of these. <laughs> so we'll go for the stealth first to see how stealthy you're going maybe the right way and then see if you're going the right way. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. Oh, no. <laughs> oh no! I am staying in the back. I did specify. It's just all you just hear the clanking and cluttering of like all of the pots. Every step um, that Ludo everything's takes. metal. I, my arm is metal. It's all banging against each other. It's an angry sea. Ludo, if I'm not mistaken, you do have inspiration from last week, don't you? I do. I do. How does inspiration work when you have disadvantage? <laughs> Um, I'll I'll allow you to add a d6 to that. So okay, so I just roll a d6, add a d6 roll to roll a d6 have. to yeah. Right, I'm about to roll a natural oh, wow. six. It's an eight. It's an eight now. It was a five, and now it is now an eight. Hell yeah! I mean, that's further away from disastrous failure. So <laughs> we got an eight from Ludo. What have we got from Elora? Nineteen. Hell yes, that's a success. What have we got from Beef? Thirteen. Thirteen is a success. And Tarquin? Eleven. Okay, that is just enough. Uh, your group kind of hunkers down and begins stealthing in a direction. Is it the right direction? Roll a survival check for everyone, please. <laughs> and we'll find out! <laughs> You're gonna make fast work of this, hunt. Ooh, I'm Dang! Gonna help with this, I'm gonna help with this average, I think. 23. 
Oh, nice. Tar 24. Nice. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got Nate from Aloro. What do we got from Ludo? 23. 23 is at least a double success. Uh, Tarquin? 24, of course. 24! <laughs> okay, and Bifon? Half that, 12. That's still a success. So, <laughs> with as much success as you have, specifically on the survival, you make your way stealthily through the forest, kind of hearing odd odds and ends of birds and other creatures that are on this aisle. Um, no other signs of any of the other hunters. And um, you do eventually lose the tracks for the monster. But your, your hunter's instincts kick in. And rather than finding the monster directly, you have managed to find um, kind of a clearing in the forest where there is a rocky mound uh, with what seems to be the opening for a deep cave. Um, for brevity's sake, for clarity's sake, uh, you get um, one action each. Kind of a, um, a what do you call it? A preemptive round of initiative, if you will, to investigate the lair of the beast, or just outside the lair of the beast, before the beast arrives. So... What would y'all like to do? I'm going in. <laughs> so you can investigate um, kind of just about the inside of the cave. Just the kind of very mouth opening of it. Um, you can investigate the surrounding area. You can investigate the clearing. You can do survival. Uh, I'll say survival, investigation, nature, uh, arcana. Kind of anything along those lines of investigations so we'll go we'll start with we'll start with beefon because beefon's already got a plan what's up beefon so you want to have a look in, into the cave yeah i'll take a look okay. I'll, I'll be the one to take a look inside Stick so my face right in there roll an investigation check for me please no emmys big money no emmys i love Dude. how y'all Beat the monster to the. I'll say, <laughs> if anyone would like. Well, to it's assist. dark in here. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, my if eyes are not good. Oh, if man, anyone would like rooms. to use their action mm. to assist, <laughs> they may do so. Sure, I'll go in there with them. Okie doke. Roll. You can roll that at advantage now. Time, so roll it once again, and then take the higher of the two numbers. Gotta and hopefully big money in the It literally cannot be worse. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> what I want. The exact opposite. Hey, yo! A natural two. You went from a natural one to a natural 20? <laughs> Iconic, bitch. All right. So, um... <laughs> um, I guess... I guess, like... <laughs> I can just picture b just goes in... And just gets, um, like, as as they go in, like, a, a stray branch just kind of sways in front of his eyes. But because it's kind of so dark in there, it kind of looks like the same values as inside the cave. And he's like, ah, nothing in here. Uh, Ludo, you <laughs> see this branch in front of uh, Bivon's eyes. And as you raise the branch <laughs> to assist, uh, you both see a plethora of kind of between three to five foot long spines. Not human backbone spines, but akin to porcupine spines um, that are black and white. Both make a nature check for me at advantage. What are they doing? Are they just kind of like littered about? Are they set they up specifically? Are, some of them are uh, just littered on the floor. Um, some of them are kind of lining the cave walls, as in, like, 
have been shot up into the cave walls and stuck. Oh. Um, yeah, it's, it's, ooh, it's not so good. Um, while you're rolling for that, what is everybody else doing? I want Although, to investigate as well. Yeah, what would you like to investigate? You've got the clearing area, you've got uh, the area outside the cave, you've got some more footprints. I would like to find a safe way down. To the cave? Yeah. Um, okay, uh, you see, you kind of follow the other two in. Um, you see that there is a massive drop kind of at the end of this ledge for the cave. Um, mm -hmm. And getting down there would mean that you would not be able to get back up this turn, but you would be able to kind of the next turn. Um, so is it, it is up to you if you want to take that risk. I don't want to go. I just want to see how we can descend in a way that will not result in our deaths. Okay, cool. Um, you, you just want to check it out after. I like it. Mm -hmm. Um, eat its babies. Uh, <laughs> all right, roll a, I'll allow either an investigation or a survival check for that. Survival, survival. <laughs> and that's, uh... Nine. Never had <laughs> so many survival rolls in my life. It was a nine, you say? Yes. I mean, you all have rope. Rope is always good. Mm. Happy Valentine's Day. Rope is always good. Uh, rope is a safe <laughs> bet. <laughs> I'm just gonna come up with the most. That was good. Just adjacent <laughs> Valentine's Day uh, bits. Yeah. Um, you. Oh, sure. We can go this song. Um, yeah. You, you see, um, there's a good couple of rocks that you can attach a rope to and abseil down. Um, there's nothing kind of particularly sticking out as a safe and easy route down. But there are ways down, for sure. Um, okay. And Alora, what a, what would you like to investigate? And then we'll come um, back to the... I want to follow everybody spines. in, because that seems to be where the action is. Okay. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm so wondering see... about maybe tossing a one of my cantrips, uh, creating a bonfire, tossing it down until the deep dark. So maybe okay. we have a visual, but also, um, and Aluro looks to everybody and is like, I'm not sure if this would disturb anything already in the cave. So I don't want to um, do anything without consulting my my dear brethren first. I have a feeling it's not here right now. Trust in yourself. All right. Um, I'm gonna cast a bonfire down down the pit. See if we get more more of a visual. Okay, so about 30 or so feet. I'm terrible at depth perception. About 30 or so feet down. Um, you cast you cast a bonfire. You either cast it at the top and kind of push it down. Either way, there is now a lit fire below. And with that, you will make your way back outside as you hear some rustling about from outside. Wait, if we're all here... <laughs> Is anybody waiting for the creature outside? Perhaps we should go. I think you're right, Bifon. Uh, everybody roll a stealth check for me. Please. Happily. Ooh. Jesus. Uh, no pressure. No pressure. I, uh, the DC... Is <laughs> a uh, DC is twenty two to beat. I rolled really good. <laughs> Does anyone beat a twenty two? Oh, no. oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> um, get ready to boop. <laughs> <laughs> you hear. So you, as you kind of go, wait, who's outside? You hear just the... <sighs> this, the 
the sound of a snoop sniffing around for trespassers fills your ears. I would recreate it, but I'm not that good. <laughs> and you just hear a low. <sighs> and as you kind of go to peek your head around the corner, it almost immediately spots you. Everybody roll initiative! Alright! <laughs> My hand was hovering so hard on that track, I was like, well... <laughs> oh, you were rolling so good up until then! And you still did! You still did! I just... I, ha I finally had a fucking good roll. <laughs> Okay. Oh shit. Okay. This will be interesting. Well, it's been fun, guys. <laughs> we're all gonna die. <laughs> As I mentioned before, incapacitation is a valid option. The, the possibility of death is nigh on in full death is nigh on impossible. I've heard uh, we all play dead. <laughs> <laughs> Not, you know, this is D and D. Um, you do what you want to do, girl. Um, might not have to play in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, hey, and you, you know, yes, what's up? Uh, sorry for the uh, for the audio. Can no. you take down the stream and take it back up? The audio got kind of uh, corrupted. Oh no! Of course I can. Thank you. My bops, my my chosen bops. Them. They were getting uh, unwanted remixes. <laughs> Im improv <laughs> improvised, <laughs> spontaneous remixes. We love it. There we go. Hopefully that works. Hopefully we're back. Much better. Okay, I will let. I will be asking for everyone's initiative in just a second. Okay, Bifon! What do we get for initiative? 15, not bad! Ludo! 11. Not bad! Aloro! 19. Oh, that is a good initiative! Tarquin! 18. 18, alright. Aloro, would you like to play Rollies with me? Because we both got a 19. Oh, no, no, we didn't. Yes, we did. I lie. Okay. All right, we can we can play rollies. What should I okay. roll? Just roll just, again. Just a just a straight d twenty. Whoever's higher gets the nineteen, and goes first. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> what did what did you get? It's still rolling because my computer's slow. Yeah, no worries. No worries. What I will say is I got a natural 20. Oh, so. shit. Oh, uh, I got a 17. <laughs> oh, close, close. Okay, so the monster is going first. What did you guys roll for... Oh, my God. Do not disturb is on. Um, What did you guys get for the uh roll for the spines, by the way? I forgot to check back in. Oh, yeah, let me double check. Uh, on account of 21. the... Monster twenty one. Was that a nature check? Yeah. Uh, oh, I only yes. got a seven on that one. Okay, Bifon. You've had run-ins with adventurers before. Um, only one spined creature comes to mind, let alone a creature that seems to be around this size. Um, and it is a fearsome beast um it is renowned as you see it before you now uh, as you prepare to battle it um you you your confirmations are confirmed uh, your thoughts are confirmed uh this is a greater spined wolganon uh this kind of large almost wolf-like beast with quite a thin pointed snout, almost like a shrew, and most notably, 
Um, it's kind of black and white pattern with a mane of spines uh, that, unlike porcupines, it is able to and willing to shoot out uh, during battles. For the for the sake of our players, I will put in the um, in the Discord chat, uh, ch Discord chat chat. No, I'll put it in characters actually. Uh, I will put the reference picture <laughs> for this for this boy. Um, there you go. Uh, so you know nothing to worry about. It's pretty chill, pretty cute. <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, good times. So, you're all currently just about in the mouth of the cave. And the Walganon... May I ask a question? Yes. So, it has range. Uh, can we hurt ourselves attacking it in melee? Unless you're trying to Assassin's Creed eagle jump it, you'll probably be fine. <laughs> okay. Um, it does have sharp ass claws. Um, you know it does have a mix of ranged and melee attack. Um, but it does it does have to uh yeah, with a with a twenty one, you'd know that it has to buffer out the time between its ranged attacks so the spines have time to regrow. Oh. Recharge, if you will. Um You may use Ah, that's a lot of information. Uh I would say that if you want to use your first action to relay that information to the party, you can. Uh, otherwise, unfortunately, no one else on the team is any the wiser. Um, what did I just roll for? Oh, yes. <laughs> Attacking. Uh, okay. So. Um, for funsies, and because we're... He's not he's not a biased Wolgernon. Uh... We'll go in terms of uh, the list on the stream. So, a uh, Ludo is number one, Aluro is number two, Tarquin's number three, and Beefon's number four. Just to see who it's deciding to attack first. Nice. Uh, that is unfortunately Ludo. Um, you are first in its sights. Fortunate for me. Come bring it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna fight you. <laughs> um, so that is a dirty 20 to hit. Ooh, hits. Um, so it goes, it just lunges at you, uh, with a bite and manages to kind of, uh, leap back, um, about 10 feet. Um, no, it can't do that. It leaps back about uh, five feet after hitting. And it does. Oh, I gotta get all my big boy dice out now. Uh -oh. We're doing violence. Oh my god! <laughs> shit you not. Shit you fucking not. Shit, shit me a little. Um, I'm afraid I can't do that, buddy. I just got double sixes on 2d6s. Okay. Alright. Um. So you take. Holy fuck, you take 15 points of piercing damage. All right. Oh my god. All right, all right. Um, starting off strong. First hit of the game. Mm. Good, solid. Yeah, uh, I will also need you to do a, a, a DC 13 strength saving throw for me, please. Uh, I am so sorry. Okay. <laughs> One second. That's okay, I'm take your time. I'm still taking all know. these damage, but there's so <laughs> many. Give me just a, a second lot. to take all yeah. these damage points. Oh my god. Oh god, I keep doing this wrong. Hold on. <laughs> You're not dead, it's okay. Survive. Well, I, did it, survive. I did it wrong. I actually am dead <laughs> currently, so I have to fix that. Yeah, no <laughs> okay, I'm at six hit points. Okay. Uh, strength save, you said. Yes, please. Of 13 DC. Oh, on the nose. Yeah, so you succeed. Um... So you are not knocked prone! Yay! Yay! Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, and that is all Beastie Boy can do. So next up is Alora. Alora, you see this monster just bound towards you and lunge. Take a 
good chunk out of lo uh, Ludo uh, with a bite to the to the shoulder area. What would you like to do? Oof. Um, I am gonna cast a uh, thunderclap. Ooh. Okay. So what does that do for everybody at home? For everybody at and home. <laughs> Creates a thunderous sound that can be heard from up to 100 feet away. Each creature within the range other than you must succeed on a constitution throw or, or take one, oh, one d6 thunder damage. Maybe, wait, <laughs> maybe. Is right. you a friend or not? <laughs> Is it wait, possible wait, to cast wait. it in a way that doesn't hit your friend, maybe? Yeah. No. Look, look um, we're we're early days. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take that as gospel. So <laughs> if you would like to rethink that, it's totally fine. <laughs> Hold on. Give me give me just a second. I think No um, worries. You do me... also have spider climb. Yeah, still active. That is um, still active, just to let you know. Would it be crazy for me to just climb all over that monster? <laughs> I mean, the back is a mane of projectile spines. Uh, but you yeah. don't know that, but it's it's up to you. <laughs> I'm not going to force you. <laughs> you wouldn't know. Get on its back. Um, it is it is up to you if you want to attempt a spider climb on this beastie. You know what? I think I'm going to roll with infestation instead. Another cantrip. Very um, nice. Which causes a cloud of mites, fleas, and other parasites to appear momentarily on the creature you see within range, and they take 1d6 poison damage um, if it cannot uh, succeed on a cost constitution saving throw. Okie doke. So I've got to roll a constitution saving throw of 10 to succeed. Greatest spine Wilgernon, are you going to get fleas or not? It unfortunately does not. Um, does it still oh, take no. Damn it, I'm rolling ri I'm going to swap my die because this is my notably good die for a battle. So I'm going to swap it out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to instantaneously just murder all of y'all. Uh, target Target uh, where it takes damage. Uh... It also okay. moves five feet in a random direction if we're counting that right now. I don't think we are. Yeah, I think that's if it fails. But it's a good shout, and it's a good... And you can just use that however many fucking times you want. So, no, nothing lost. Um, you do also have a bonus action left and your movement. So if you want to try and skedaddle past it, it will be able to get an opportunity attack. Um, or you can head further into the cave. Yasha the Panda, thank you for the raid. Not that that's necessarily um, a good or a bad idea. Raiders. Um, welcome Raiders. Welcome in, welcome have, in. Thanks for being uh, here. A flame, a flame blade bonus action. Which might be worth looking at. Flame blade bonus action. Yes. Which gives you a sword and yeah. it is on fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So just like the summoning of it is the bonus action? Yes. So you won't I'll be able summon to... it up. Um, let me check. Uh, use your yes. So on your next turn, you can use your action to smack it with it. And it does a cool. spicy damage. Hell yeah! All right, and that's, moving. That's what's up. Okay. Um, awesome stuff. Tarquin, you are. It is your turn. Beefon, you are on deck. It is your turn after Tarquin. All right. So, what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to use my weapon because I do have a weapon yep. on my character sheet. It's a beautiful quarterstaff, and it counts as um, as a monk weapon. So, yes. my idea is to do a kind of a combo here on the guy. So, movement, I'm going to go straight forward. And as okay. soon as I'm there, I'm going to do... First, I'm going to attack with the quarterstaff. So Amazing. I'm gonna roll for hit. Big money, no whammies. That's uh. Vivi, thank you for the five gift hits? subs. Oh my god, go. five gift subs! Thank you so much, Vivi. Okay, then I'm gonna follow that attack with unarmed strike, which mm -hmm. is uh one. Oh, sorry, I have to roll damage first, right? Uh, yes, yeah. Okay. So that will hit a total of eight points of damage. Nice. 
nice, 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 nice. Then it's an arm strike, which is 1d4 plus 4, so it's going to be... Oh my god, that one didn't hit. Oh, no, no, no it's 13. Does it hit? Just misses. So you managed to get the hit in, but it seemingly just doesn't do any damage, unfortunately. All right. Um, but the first attack certainly hits and does the damage. Um, and it takes... I've already forgotten eight points of damage. All okay, right. Can I, can I use uh, one of my key points, which aren't DM's points? It's just my inner energy, you know? Yeah, it's pronounced yes. just like your name, Both. but it's different. <laughs> Both. <laughs> yeah. They are my points now. <laughs> no. When I use my key points, basically I can. It's basically two unarmed strikes instead of one. Oh hell yeah! So that's yeah, get, get that's them. called flurry of blows. Get them, get them flurry of blows in. Let's go. And that would be oh eleven. I just oh, don't have luck. <laughs> <laughs> it all hits because just of the size of this beast and the proximity you are to it. It just, its elbow is real strong. It's got really strong elbow, <laughs> unfortunately. All right, all right, I got one in. <laughs> yeah, you got you got to hit in. That's no, that is nothing to sniff at. Um, okay. Encounter. There it is. All right. Bifon. It is. B Sorry. Bifon Festairs. It is your turn. <laughs> Ludo, you are on deck. Not literally quite yet. <laughs> I'm about to be on the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, there was a cleric in the team. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we're good. What would you like to do, friend? You landed Warhammer. I'm stepping into range. Oh, shit. Gonna and bonk uh, him. <laughs> rolling for hit. It's 14. 14 is what you need to hit. So it hits. Roll for damage, which is two handed. So it's the 1d10 plus two. Four. Nice. Bless. You know, a hit is a hit. We'll take it. All right. So you and the fact that you said that makes means it's a pitiful hit. Thank you. No, it hits though. <laughs> you could you could not I hit just... it. <laughs> how do you how do you bonk this big boy? Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess we'll just start with a little bit of a jab. I use the Ooh. tip of the caber to <laughs> boop him. Right on the nose. Happy Valentine's Day, chat. You're welcome. <laughs> um, yes, absolutely. Uh, and it does. And uh, you finally crack through some of the tough elbow skin as uh, <laughs> you go for the assist um, with Tarquin and, and do it a damage on its elbow. Are you moving anywhere? Is there anything else you would like to do? Second action is... So your bonus action. You can do the thing. You can do the thing. <laughs> uh, I'm wondering if it's worth it to even talk about the whole range thing right now. Because we just got to take this thing down since it did so much damage to True. Ludo. I would say as a bonus action, you can reveal one thing about it. So you can be like, mind the spines! <laughs> <laughs> or, um... Yeah, mind the spines is probably the most important thing. Because it just looks like a cool hairdo at this point. Action surge. Hey, so yo. Hey, yo, let's go. And. Second swing, 22 to hit. Oh! That fucking. That fucking hits. <laughs> Roll for damage. Oh, uh, three. Oh, no. <laughs> Ayo, three. Three still hit. It's still a hit. It's still doing damage. Yeah. So you absolutely j j jab, j jab him with the tip again. <laughs> <laughs> it's time I just tickle him on the bottom of his chin. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's out a little a little squeak and <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> let him know it's coming. Oh shit. Happy Valentine's Day. All right. And that's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Ludo, you can use your bonus action to warn everybody of the spikes if you want. Because, uh. Yeah, sure. Uh, Definitely. Yeah. What, what would you oh, like yeah, to quickly actually, yell in the heat be, of the moment? <laughs> that would be a thing right now. Yeah, everybody, careful. It could shoot its, it, it could shoot its spines off. So either get in close or stay clear. Do we have a range on how far it can shoot? Uh, it it would be difficult to discern without having encountered one directly before. Okay, um, so I'm mainly I'm mainly focusing that information on Aluro since okay. uh, Tarquin and I are pretty much in melee range. Yeah, everybody hears it. Um, <laughs> the the Wolgrenon also hears it. And it's like I can do that. Kidding. Um, <laughs> right. Well, I do have uh, the ability to talk to it. I just can't understand what it says. Uh, <laughs> I can talk shit to it on my next turn. <laughs> uh, right, Ludo, it is your turn. What would you like to do, my friend? Ludo got a big old chunk of him taken out of him. Yeah. He's uh, he's pretty hurt. So he's going to study himself and he's going to channel divinity. Oh, shit. Which is to say, he reaches into uh, underneath his armor to his chest where he keeps one of his most precious items, a sandwich, and he takes <laughs> a big bite out of it and heals himself for 15 hit points. Nice! nice. That's what we like to see! Yeah! Sandwich uh, of life! <laughs> <laughs> sandwich of the destiny! And then he uh, reaches a hand towards the. Uh, Flowers for Algernon, and he <laughs> casts uh, oh. he casts spiritual weapon and sends out an image of a uh, a big old meat tenderizer, a big old bonky hammer. Yes, yes. I know. I've been here for two episodes. I already know how Matt Mercer feeling, man. <laughs> I can't name nothing. <laughs> nothing is sacred. Um. <laughs> All right. <laughs> big old Sweet. meat tenderizer swings. Oops, that's damage. Oh. He swings yeah. for 20. 20 hits. And gives oh, him just a, just a oh, little bonk. Damage. Just a little bonky bonk. Gives a him a tender bonk. A little four <laughs> points of damage bonk. Happy Valentine's Day. Hey, yo. Four, four points of damage is closer to, closer to death. Hit boom. All right. And then uh, with his move, he wants to move as close to it as possible. He wants to get up in the mix. Yeah, you are in its... You were already pretty much just at its jaws. Nice. Um, you're just all up in its face right now. Nice. <laughs> um, me, me, bite me. <laughs> me, me, me. And he's waving his hands and stuff. Uh, I'm going to roll something real quick for shits and giggles. Okay. Um... <laughs> No, the other no. hunters are fucking incompetent. Okay, good. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, which may or may not be a good thing, depending on uh, how how you see this fight going. Um. <laughs> how, do you, how do you see right. this fight going? Uh, you know, <laughs> it, 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 it was tailored for a specific circumstance, and I will say we're not in that specific circumstance. Okay. Um, Allura, you are on deck. But right now, it is greater spined wool flowers for world, Gurnon. <laughs> it is his turn. And he is going to... Mm. You know what, Ludo? Roll the persuasion check for me. Oh, give me that nat 20. <laughs> you want it to hit you so bad. So persuasive. 13. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, it's gonna go for you again. <laughs> right? I love it. <laughs> Come get it. <laughs> I'll try not to roll double sixes this time. <laughs> Whee! Uh, does a ten hit? It does not. Oh, no. Alas. Oh, no. Um, he's gonna, he's gonna snarl, and he's gonna try and back away. 
uh, from all of you. So I believe everybody except Aluro gets a attack of opportunity. Oh. So nice. roll to hit a regular hit. See if you can give it a little boop on its way out. As it turns tail. 14 to hit. 14 just hits. All right, he busts out his actual meat tenderizer and hits for 10 damage. Nice. 15 on my part, so yep, that hits as hits. well. And this is six points of damage. Nice, 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 nice. Beefle, I'm seeing some beefy numbers your end. <laughs> 23. Is that a nat 20? Was it? <laughs> uh, I'll check. Uh, no, it would have been, like, been 19. Ooh. Ooh. Can taste it. And then six. <laughs> uh, what was that? Six damage points of six. damage. Nice. All right. We've got some extra damage in that round. And as it, as it turns Take tail and you. leaps away, kind of skids around, um, heading further into the clearing. Um you see it kind of shudders slightly, uh, bristling the spines on its back. Aluro, it is your turn. What would you like to do, Tark, when you are on Zek? Aluro is going to get within melee fighting range and is yep. going to use Flame Blade. Hell yeah! So, you get all up in its shit, even though it just ran away, and you manage to with your movement, and you go and give him, give him a smack. Give him a smack. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no big whammy. Money, big money. <laughs> big money, no whammy. Need a 14 to hit. Oh, no! Uh, oh, that's well, for that damage. Was damage. That was for damage. That's for damage. No. Yeah, so Sorry. if you do the hit, and then we can apply that damage if indeed it, indeed it do hit. If so what do I what do I roll for that again? Sorry. So that'll be that's all good. That's gonna be the D twenty plus two. So you need a twelve or higher to hit. Come on, big money, no me. Big money, no me. Big money, no me. Thirteen plus two. Hell so yeah, that hits! So it does the 10 damage as you just see the fire just roar up and just just lick at the side of this creature um, as it cries out in, in smoky pain. Uh, Ludo, suddenly really nice smell wafts your way. <laughs> <laughs> he gets some ideas for the meal later on. <laughs> Yes. Is there anything else you would like to do, Laura? Um, nope. That is it. Okay. It is. I've lost the thing. Tarquin, it is your turn. Beefle, yeah. you are on deck. Third time's the charm. Hell Let's yes. go. Get um. Punch, 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 punch. That's uh, seventeen to hit. Seventeen certainly hits. And I'm going to use another key point because nice. the DM is good with me. And I'm going to do two unarm strikes <laughs> with a flurry of blows. Nice. Let's go. So I'm going to roll twice for that. Yes, yes. That is uh, 24 yes. and uh, 15. So do all the hits hit? Oh, yeah, they both hit. Yeah, I thought they were damaged all for right. a second. I was like, fuck. Yeah, sorry. I, I, I just... <laughs> 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 I <rolled. laughs> I rolled hey, all the attacks. It, it would only be fair. It's karma, man. It's fucked up JC at the beginning of this fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's gonna get it now. Oh, that casual okay, now 50. I'm gonna roll damage. It's seven and two unarmed strikes, nice. which are six. Nice. And seven, so 20 nice. damage. 20 damage. 20 damage. And which since I am an dangerous. open hand technique oh. monk. This would uh, make it fall prone if it fails a dexterity saving throw, which is of difficulty 13. Okay. Ooh, very okay. nice. Very okay, nice. Then. That's awesome. Okay, then. I see how it's going to be. I got an 18. Oh. That's before adding whatever oh. I need to add. 
Uh, which would have been a three, so I got 21. I'm unfortunate. He's a big boy! He's a real bad bitch. Does he do the Akira <laughs> thing, though? Where he, like, yeah, he slides and... Oh, he's a, he's a skitty boy. <laughs> he's a skitty, skitty boy. <laughs> Put the Odegaran music on for a reason. He's a skitty <laughs> little kitty. <laughs> okay, as right. a bonus action to finish, I want to oh, extend my hand, two fingers in the front, and tell him to come in, come front of me. Yes! Like, yeah! No, bitch. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be like Tarquin. <laughs> Wait, how haven't we heard of Tarquin yet? He's so cool. <laughs> okay, so you're trying to you're trying to taunt him? Yeah. Alright, roll the persuasion check for me, please. Roll roll me roll that me is, one of uh, nine. checks. Okay. Okay, Duncan. Ooh, okay. I'll let you know what happens when we get to his turn. Okay, before it is your turn. What would you like to do before? Just want to bonk him. Right. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm legally obliged to just any any smells of entendre. Ne never stop. Gotta... Never ever stop. <laughs> You're all, right. all just gonna crowd this boy in and <laughs> <laughs> bonk him till he can't stand anymore. And I'm swinging for seventeen. Nice. Hey yo, seventeen hits. All right. One, one for the march. Hey, nice that's more like it. That's more like it. Fucking full roll on that. Nice. You give you, you bonk him, you bonk him good. Uh, you bonk him good for twelve damage. Just go in top of the cranium slam. <laughs> just in his face, full, right in the dirt. Full head, yeah. Just some like cartoon Tom and Jerry saucepan shenanigans. I'm here for it. Um, yeah, you just bad dog. <laughs> to the ground and it just <laughs> kind of recoils its head back after and just Arr! it's kind of got like a trill to it that I'm struggling to recreate um okay anything else you'd like to do um disengaging is not a bonus right no it's but you have got me. the thing <laughs> mm. may I present to you the thing <laughs> I'm gonna end my turn. Okay. Oh, he's, he's been. Oh, I like it. All right. Next up, opening my encounter builder. Next up, we have Ludo. What are we doing, buddy? Ludo is going to <clears throat> run back up to it since it tried to get away and give it the old wonkity bonk. <laughs> The, the wonkity. The 1920s wonkity bonk. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna try and tenderize this meat before it's been cooked. Ooh. Okay. He misses with his meat tenderizer, unfortunately. It's only a nine. Oh. But his Anything spiritual else? tenderizer. Ayo. Maybe we'll Sometimes, oh, sometimes nice. you just need to be a little tenderized by God, you know? <laughs> His, know uh, spiritual me yeah you, uh, we'll, we'll find out uh, <laughs> it, it's a uh, 24 to hit with the spiritual nice tenderizer. roll for damage bonks for six points of damage you just like bonk him on the head like immediately after Bifon, so it's like those like those uh, railroad workers you see that just like <laughs> perfectly <laughs> hammer the peg in in time just budunk <laughs> Badunk. <laughs> Amazing. Good, good for us. Good Flurry of bonks. Six extra points of bonk damage. It's starting to look a little bit hurt, you guys. It's starting to look a little bit damaged. I want to look it in the eyes and say, you're going to be delicious. Okay. With that, it is... The Greater Spined Wolgernon's turn. Uh, does he does he agree? Does he disagree? 
I guess I'm about to Seems find Seems impartial. Out. Seems impartial. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he is going to try. Oops. Uh, yeah. He is going to um, hop back again, so everyone does get another attack of opportunity, oh. should they so wish. <laughs> and while you do that, I will roll for the other ingrates on this island who are very fucking incapable of anything. Um, okay! That's something. <laughs> A lot of big rolls. I like that. Hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> Six. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what we got? Uh, I, <laughs> I see well, you and I feel today. you. <laughs> <laughs> Did That's anybody hit? Too. <laughs> yeah, two anybody twenty-fours hit? and a six and a five. Okay, what do we got for damage for the 224s? <laughs> All right. 10. Six. 10 damage. Six. Nice, you guys. Give it a nice little bonk on the ass as it leaves. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, <laughs> and um, need to open up some more tabs. Um, yeah, you see it run uh, slightly further away kind of, uh, so it's about 20 or so feet away from you all now. Um, and it is going to use its legendary action. <laughs> so. Le legendary action, you said? Just wanted legendary action? Yes. Okay. Yes, legendary action. So, yes. It's, our, it's, our first fight. Um, it's our first fight. It's at disadvantage. <laughs> so. um, it's, it's, a, it's a simple enough roll. Okay, so everyone roll for me. Um, do you, I guess? I don't, we'll see how this goes. Okay, um... Whee! That is a 12. Does a 12 hit anyone? No. No, no. no. Okay. And the way that you can tell that is armor class, right? Yes. Or, yes, okay, good. Thank you. So if you've got a 12 <laughs> or higher, you're safe. I have a question. Yes. Is is he going to do a ranged attack, basically? That's what we're trying to cover ourselves from, right? Yes. Okay. I wish you could is see that... my face right now. <laughs> is that considered... <laughs> <laughs> yes, continue. <laughs> All right. I would like to do a reaction so that I can counter uh -huh. that attack. Okay. I will tell you it is three rounds of attacks. So you would be able to... Um, you would be able to parry one or counter one of them if they hit. What's, so the, what's the ability you've got? Because uh, it's... Deflect uh, missiles. Missiles, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let's have a look. Uh, if you read you... Uh... You can use reaction to deflect or catch missiles when you hit by range. Yeah, so it's only if you get hit by it. And so far, so good. So, if okay. if this last roll hits, because the second roll was a nine, so mm -hmm. I might be shit out of luck. Um, so we'll see, because I've got the 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 dice that do the good rolls for me. Come on, baby girl, let's go. <laughs> <sighs> Fuck me. <laughs> I don't know if that means you rolled better uh, or rolled 20. <laughs> <laughs> you see uh, <laughs> this magnificent beast. <laughs> um, actually, I have to check some other ACs real quick. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, I need to check something real quick. Uh, you guys are all safe, though. So that's okay. good. Uh, oh shit, I wasn't going to reveal that. My bad. Uh, but you are! Hey! Uh, let's check about these people. Let's see if these people are safe. <laughs> what are your guys' ACs? 
<laughs> if they're less than 12. Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh no. Okay. So you see this creature like leap away, skidding its feet, and it lets out this trill and growl as you see the spines on its back begin to shake and quiver. And you see the first volley shoot up in the air. Um, kind of a variety of spines of different sizes landing between you, but not through you. Um, the same happens with the second volley. Kind of... <laughs> Like a volley of ballista as you're kind of infiltrating a castle or a fortress. And the second round again, scatter around, not hitting anybody. The third round, you see the volley go up. But you do see as, like, two of the spines collide with each other. And that causes one of the spines, instead of the trajectory it's already taking, to turn more upwards directly upwards and then fall directly downwards um <laughs> Aww. this is why i don't do boss fights i always fucking hurt myself <laughs> <laughs> i think it's fair that uh that uh if i get in that one he'd hit himself with a stray spine i think that's fair <laughs> hey ludo shish kebab oh good idea Barbecue. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> um, he take you see this shit. It doesn't quite go through his tail. It more goes through where the tail and the spine can join. Like, just to the left of where the spine is. And you hear it cry out as it just... <clears throat> and just pins it to the floor. Um, I would say that safely... Let's see. Shits and giggles. Yeah, that knocks it prone. Um... And then does it a hell of fucking damage. Um, mm. Love my life. I will say, um, everybody roll a perception for shits and giggles. I think <laughs> um, he just won the hunt. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't have done it without the greater spine vulgar now, man. He really yeah. did us a favor in there. Even the trophy. <laughs> I'm so mad. I had a kraken that kept like hitting its own tentacle on like a broken ship mast once, and it was like the most painful thing because I spent weeks planning that encounter, and now I'm just like, oh, I've got this badass fucking creature, and it just freaking spined itself with its own legendary action. Oh, the worst legendary action known to man. All right, uh, Beefle, what do we get for perception? Twenty. Nice. Oh, I can see it, actually. I am oh. not blind. Not- Tarquin got nat 20. Okay, let's go. And then Laura got a 15. What do we- what do we get, Ludo? Oh, it's rolling. 17. Rolling. Yeah, you all hear, after the first volley, you hear, uh, not too far in the distance, um, you hear someone just go, OH JESUS! Um, as seemingly they are hit by one of the spines. Um. Mm, do you want to bet if he's alive or dead? Uh, um, <laughs> beef on with a dirty 20, you recognize that voice. Oh. Oh yeah, I should actually roll damage for them. I put all my dice away. Whoopsie, that dice is gone. Uh, okay, eight, 14, 24, <laughs> 24, 27. How much health have you got? <laughs> um, uh, b and whoever got a natural 20, uh, you hear them. It sounds fatal. Oh. oh. So b you know nice. you know that voice and you know it was fatal. Tark, when you you don't fucking know them, but it sounded fatal. But yeah. Anyway, uh, Laura, it's your turn. What would you like to do? <laughs> uh, um. Can I? 
continuing to sprint forward, um, can I, do I know the direction of the sound well enough to just, like, go in that direction? Um, what is your pass? what are your, what are your passives? Um, let me see. Passive perception is 12. Passive investigation is 11. I'd say with a 12, you've got enough of an idea to be able to run in the right direction and then see them if you wanted to. Um, it would be just out of range for you to get to touching distance of them, though. But with spells, that might not fucking matter. Um... Gonna run to the general direction of where the noise was and where I am uh, close enough to be in combat still. So, like, that side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so you want to be in range of the beast, but also towards the person. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's totally doable. Um, you kind of run to the uh, pinned arse end of the, uh, <laughs> of the beast, um, but kind of a safe enough distance away from it, uh, but still in range of it, so it wouldn't... I mean, it's also prone, so it wouldn't get opportunity attack. Even if it could do anything. Um, you can use uh, your action to dash, which would get you uh, double the distance, so you can get another 30 feet, I believe. Uh... I think I would like yeah. to still attack if I can. Oh, yeah, go for it. Oh, I'm not going to stomp you, man. Yeah, in the most. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I'm going to use my flame blade again. Nice, roll the hit, big money, no I mean. And you get advantage because it is prone. So roll twice and take the higher number to hit. Cool. Damn. Well, I just got a 19. Well, that hits, but you might get an out 20, so. Okay, and if we'll we get an out 20, we get to fun territory. <laughs> Very fun territory. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> All Got right, eighteen that time, so nineteen 18. was better. Eighteen and nineteen both certainly hit. So take your take your attack, my friend. Three d six fire damage. Nice. Holy moly. All right, let's go. Big money, no whammy. Cook him. Twelve. Ooh, wonderful. Ooh. So, what, do you just like strike his back with the with yes. the fire? Reaches all the way back and and pushes forward into the into the the beast. Whoa. And it ju it just squeals out as it cannot really do anything uh, to counter this. How much damage was that? I've lo I've lost. I am lost. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> Twelve. Okay. <laughs> I got so many windows. Okay. It's looking it's looking real fucked up. It's looking real fucked up from where it once was. Alright, is that your turn? Yes. Okay. Tarquin, it is your turn. Be phone you are on deck. Alright, we have to finish this guy. Mm, he's in pain. Let's go. Roll okay. attack. Ludo has anything to say about it in Pan as well. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to spend my last key point for the night, and I'm going to try to do, again, the whole combo. First, oh, uh, do you want me to roll the attacks or attack yeah. damage, attack damage? Yeah, go for order? go for all the attacks and then all the right. deeming. Because okay. then it stacks and it looks real cool. So Y'all are making piss work of my boss. I need... I need... <laughs> It did it to itself. So it's to 17, fair. the main attack, and then it's 14 and 9. Yep, the 17 and 14 both hit. The 9 does not, right. unfortunately. No, wait, uh, you would ro Oh my god, you would roll all of those at advantage because it's still prone. Okay. <laughs> this is where the nat 20 happens and I regret my life. <laughs> <laughs> The reference for this art, like, this monster is so cool as well, you guys. 
Um, it is very cool. Yeah, credit to... I'll share it in chat when I can, but credit to Kate uh, Failshafter for, for inspiring me with their amazing art. Um... So it's 13 total damage. Okay, and then you can roll the nine at advantage. You can roll all of those at advantage if you want, because uh, it is prone. So if you uh, roll to hit three times, and then we can see if um, okay, if any of them are nat 20s. Nope. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, shit. No. <laughs> oh, almost. But you do get that third hit, so yeah, roll damage so for the uh, last attack. And another one. Yeah. 20 again. Nice. All right, quick maths, making it easy. Uh, another 20. Yeah, it's, 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 it's time is short. <laughs> uh, it's time is very short, and none of the other hunters have even fucking turned up yet, and the one that did might be dead! Um, all right, anything else you would like to do with your turn? How do you attack this poor, poor creature? I'm going to start and make you feel bad because it's the only weapon I have left. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, since this is open hand technique again, I guess uh, it's already full prone, so I guess... It, yeah. uh, uh, you can push I guess it? I can, yeah, I could push it and maybe he can hit its head on a rock or something. Push it push it towards its dead victim. <laughs> yeah. It's a... Uh, uh, let me check. It's a uh, strength of 13. He has to make something better than that. And it would be a disadvantage. So that's a 9. So, yeah. Does frunk it. <laughs> Just gonna... I'm going to frunk it in the face. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Insult to injury, I believe the yeah. phrase is. Yeah, absolutely. All right, uh, <laughs> be fun. It's your turn, Ludo. You're on, you're on deck. Get the pan, get the pan warmed up. <laughs> Good tonight. Oh my 12. god! All right, so eighteen. Eighteen absolutely hits. Yep. And so I'm hitting sad. him for nine. I'm so with... proud. It's so sad right now. <laughs> nine! With despair in my heart because I know I heard a familiar voice in the distance and also this poor thing needs to be put out of its misery. Did you <laughs> roll to hit at advantage? Oh. Yes, you really? did. Okay. Uh... No, I rolled a nine. Hold up. Uh, nine would be. Oh nine. no, it was. It was just. Yeah, it was just for the to hit. And I've just seen. Yeah, you did. So oh yeah, no, the to good. hit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okie dokie. It's still. It's still kicking. It's still desperately oh. trying to get up. Um. <laughs> is there anything else you'd like to do with your turn? Mm. <laughs> any movement? Any. Uh. Yeah, you all moved about 20 foot to get closer to it, so you've all got about 10 feet extra movement, should you should you wish. Oh my god, this speech of the I'm gonna use Speech of the Beast and Leaf to say to oh. it, it happens to the best of us. Uh, <gasps> sorry, bro. Oh. It, it, we, we, we all... We all fuck up sometimes. Uh, today was your day. Um... Peace be with you. Oh. Roll a persuasion check at advantage for me, please. <laughs> <laughs> Whether it'll make any fucking difference or not, I don't know. But I don't know. It might. <laughs> 13. Um, okay, it hears you. It, uh, it kind of looks at you with its um, kind of beady, dark eyes. Um, but it's it, like, it I voted can... for Trump. <laughs> 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 no, he's like, I hate landlords. And that gives me an attack <laughs> of like, opportunity. No, <laughs> <laughs> no he, he's, he's still putting up a fight. He's still putting up a fight till the bitter end. Um, I'll, I'll give him a look of respect for that. Yeah, not, not quite high enough to persuade him. But um, All right, Luda. <laughs> 
All right, Ludo Thanks. sees the beast is down. Yeah, Maybe ready for bonkies, but... It's doing very badly. He heard the cry, and it's just not in Ludo's nature to not address somebody dying. So he runs off towards the sound of the scream. Okay. Um, you again can, with your remaining movement, you can just make it to kind of where um, Allura is. So like just at the edge of the forest clearing. Um, you can't immediately see the person from here, but this is the general direction the scream came from. Uh, you can use your action to dash if you would like to. Uh, um, yeah, let's dash. Hold on. All right. Yeah. You, with your dash, you're able to uh, get further into the forest. And you do indeed see a tiefling that has, for lack of any competent words, uh, been super fucking impaled. Happy Valentine's Day. By uh, <laughs> one of the spines <laughs> just entirely like just a hole through their abdomen Sheesh. they are unconscious and bleeding out pretty fucking badly okay i don't have any bonus action heals uh but you know i'll just uh do a rock slide on my knees to get <laughs> to them and as soon as i get an action again i will do something to to help them out I will, I will allow you to do the slide uh, on your pan kind of shield surfing style nice. uh, as a free action for flavor. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> okay. That's all right. I got you. <laughs> Y'all done good today. Um, <laughs> um, okay. On that note, I'm going to roll this poor guy fox death save. First death save. No, I'm moving money. No, I mean, that's a natural fucking one. Oh, no. It counts as two. <laughs> It counts as two. Okay, the clerics from the island had better hurry the fuck up a little bit. Uh, how fast is this other bitch? I did not just roll two natural ones in a row. Okay, well, she's lost again. Never mind! <laughs> <laughs> she got so close! She got within spine distance! And then she got fucking... May I don't know, maybe she turned and turned tail and ran. I don't know, but she ain't <laughs> fucking here right now. Alright, it is indeed the greater spined Wolganon's turn. Um From Hell's dark heart I stab at thee. <laughs> <laughs> One final bite. Uh so currently in the vicinity, we have Aluro, Bifon, and Tarquin. I'm going to roll to see who exactly gets hit. Uh, let me just uh, check this really quick. Plans. <laughs> All right, but it's gonna hit. It's gonna hit Aloro for no reason in particular. <laughs> it's gonna go for Aloro. Um, Aloro. Um, as you are um, tr trying to kind of look for the origin of um, of this scream, um, you don't notice as um, still pinned, um, the Wolgernon just behind you manages to kind of whip itself far enough back and oh shit oh no, oh shit that wasn't actually a part of the plan, but I did just get a natural 20 for that. Um... Okay. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. That's fine. Uh, Aluro, you take... Fucking... 14 points of damage. 
and I need okay. you to make a constitution saving throw for me, please. It's a lot of damage. It is. Not a con save. Yeah, fucking eleven. <laughs> Okay, um, Aloro, you fall to the ground, not dying, <laughs> um, but, uh, just kind of blindsided by this awful, just bestial bed of nails in your back. Um, you feel as your nerves just kind of give in. And your body just goes limp. And you fall unconscious. Ooh. Wow. Uh-oh. That's not good. Uh, okay. Uh, Allura. Well, it's not your turn anymore. <laughs> uh... <laughs> um, Allura dead? No, just in incapacitated. Okay. Um, Zero hit points or just like poisoned or something? I don't know, you're not, you're not you're not like there, man. debuff kind of stuff. Some some nerve nerve damage shit. Okay. Um mm. for lack of a better description. So Tarquin, it is your turn. Alright. Uh you see this. Um you see right. um Allura just get kind of whipped in the back with these spines. Um and uh, just fall to the ground. Okay. Um, I'm going to step right in front of this uh, beast, like kind of to get in the way to prevent it from attacking Eldur again. Okay. And uh, just keep on punishing it with my strong weapons, which are my fists and my charisma. Yes. <laughs> All <laughs> of <laughs> it. <laughs> okay, beast. You and me. No more distractions. And that is a tag again. And it is still technically prone, so... 19. Hell yes! 19! It definitely hits. And the unarmed strike, which is a uh, 13. Doesn't quite hit, but you do get advantage on all of these. Okay. So I can roll again, right? Yes! So... I'm gonna go for. Alright, this one hits 20. Noise. So it's two attacks. One with the quarter staff, which deals yep. five, and the other one deals eight, so 13 points of damage. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you know this? This guy literally has 14 points of health left. Oh, nice. <laughs> Can I speed at him or something? Uh... <laughs> like a one HP? <laughs> it's, got, it's got one HP left. Um, oh my god. Can someone finish this, please? <laughs> I got it. Be, be fun, it is, it is your turn. Um, I mean, you're going to get advantage on this attack. Um, you can do a non-lethal attack, so it doesn't kill it. Um, but I will say, for the sake of, um, of clarity, uh, how, how would you like to do this? <laughs> Because nice. I highly doubt, highly, highly doubt it's going to survive. And if it does, then I'll look like a fool. So it's fine. <laughs> so what are we doing? We're going to non-lethal, we're going to lethal. We oh, messed this thing to... up. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I'm going to give it a look. Just, just a, a knowing nod. Tell it did a really good job. Then I'm going to lift my caber up over my head. And <gasps> take really, really good aim. And hit it once cleanly and smash its brains. Oh! Going in for the kill! Just put it out in one. Okay, okay, and you do just 
just the horrible sound, but slightly satisfying um, sensation of just crushing the skull and the cerebrum underneath. And you see that the creature's eyes, though they remain open, they do so um, with a quickness and other than its ex extortionately painful final f couple of m minutes or so, um, <laughs> it, it did go out uh, painlessly at the very, very end. Um, you realize that Loro has the horn. I close its eyes, <laughs> put my hand on its head for a moment, go over, pick up Alora, sling her over my shoulder, grab the horn, and blow. Okay. <laughs> Just... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Um, as, as you blow this horn, uh, you see, uh, a dwarven woman, um, not sorry, a dwarven woman, a gnomish woman come into the clearing, just kind of panting, and she just looks at you and like, oh, fucking shit! <laughs> um, she's pissed, um, uh, and she just kind of looks at you like, you couldn't have fucking waited? For what? For some friendly competition. My friends are hurt right now. So, if you feel like starting any trouble, take it up with my monk friend behind me. Me? You want me to fight with her? Tarquin, roll a history check for me, please. Well, everyone roll a history check. Tarquin at advantage. Yay. What is she saying? <laughs> 14. Yes, Ludo, you are you are able to stabilize uh, the tiefling man if you wish as well <laughs> right now. One plus is one. 14 enough? Uh, four oh no! <laughs> Beef on. Uh, she angry. Um... And it seems like she may have been angry before today as well. She seems very angry. Um, yeah, with a 14. Is that an advantage, the 14, Tarquin? That was the basic roll. I can roll oh, again if you want. Roll again. Yeah, like I said. Oh, uh, that's a one. <laughs> <laughs> hero knows hero. Or maybe they don't. Um, no, with a 14, you would safely know... Uh, this woman. Um, your, your initi initi your intuition uh, on <laughs> the boat uh, was correct. Uh, you do indeed know this person. A hero knows a hero. So surely that means they're going to know you as well. Uh, but you <laughs> know this indeed to be Yenka Moss. Um, a uh, just a folk hero um, of many lands, known for being one of the few famous uh, gnomish hunters, um, specifically rangers, um, in the lands. Um, if there is a big monster, she's probably fucking killed one. If there's a monster nobody's fucking heard of or never seen before, she's probably fucking killed it too. She She is... The hunting, you know, while you peruse different uh, classes, um, she's still she's still pretty fucking heroic. Um, she came. She's the one who came on the boat herself. Uh, yes, I believe so, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. Uh, she got incredibly lost. <laughs> 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 she, she got so fucking lost. <laughs> so, for brevity. For everyone in the chat, that fight was tailored to uh, two teams of four level threes and a level eight. We're great. 
They're fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> that that explains when... why we took like almost all of our health and damage. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those were big hits. Yeah. Those were I was big, just big waiting hits. for this thing to die. <laughs> yeah, there were like because everyone else that was meant to turn up just got so hopelessly lost. Like we lost two entirely, like before y'all even got like onto the tracks. Then there were only two from the other team left. And um, and then one of them got lost. And then the last remaining fucking guy got fucking speared through the <laughs> abdomen <laughs> by a spine. And the other bitch saw it and did what they did and then came in, came through. So uh, yeah, some well. fun behind the scenes facts <laughs> for you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, fucking GG. Um, so yes, Tarquin, you know this to be um, Yankamos, um, famous, famous gnomish hunter. I will put her name in the character discussions because names, Yankamos. There you go. Mm. I narrow my eyes like a, like a really disgusted, but uh, more in a competitive way than others. <laughs> it's like mm, Yankamos. Of course. The greatest <laughs> hunter there is. Unless it comes to tracking something down and taking half an hour, but yes, she is good. It was You're late to the party. I had my strategy. It doesn't always pay off. I'm here to hunt creatures, not find them. It's the shitty part of the job, isn't it? Well... But... You some battles you win, to... some battles you lose. Hmm, for you maybe. Ah, uh, but no, you did a you did a good job with this. That was some pretty good work, gotta say. Uh, thank you. And he does a reverence, like very exaggerated reverence. She she mostly ignores it. <laughs> 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 Um, Ludo, we'll, we'll cut to you. Um, what, what are you doing with fairy impaled tiefling? <laughs> like, where his intestines should be? Mm-hmm. Ouch. Spine. <laughs> Would you like a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just on the very top, there's a giant olive. Uh... <laughs> So uh, when he, you know, he rock slid in there on his like pot, he is walk. He'd um, be reaching for his flask at his side, and uh, as soon as he got there and got an action, he would uh, pop open the flask and start pouring some body temperature chicken noodle soup into the <laughs> mouth of the dying tiefling, and maybe some of it would spill out through the intestines in the hole with the oh my God. spine. <laughs> As he'd pull it out. The, no. It probably well, doesn't travel would, that fast. The spine <laughs> would be like a porcupine spine, so it is just hollow on the inside. So, I mean, mm. in in a parallel universe somewhere, mm. the spine just becomes a giant uh, chicken noodle soup straw. <laughs> um, oh, no. But we're not going to go there. <laughs> um, it's probably a bad idea. Um, so the chicken noodle soup is uh, Cure Wounds. Yay! Which he'll cast. That's how he. That's how he casts uh, cure wounds, and then he'll uh, pull out the spine as the person's sputtering back to health. Not not a lot of uh, good uh, bedside manner. He's just like <laughs> how Yoink. much? How much health does he get back? Let's see. Um, I think there isn't a death saving throw I've ever done mm -hmm. for either my own personal character and now potentially also NPCs that hasn't had a natural one in it somewhere. It's that plus four, so 17. Oh, nice! He's almost back up to full health. <laughs> um, yeah, he kind, of, he kind of very slowly comes to just as you, like, toss the the, the spine aside. Um, it's surprisingly light. It is like a, like a strange keratin-y material. Like, it's a very different looking thing when it's kind of individual. Hmm. Um, Do I think it might boil down and get soft and... <laughs> Roll a nature check. <laughs> Sorry, that's it. it. No, it's all good. He's, he is who he is. <laughs> I'm smiling. Broth check. 
Roll for broth. 14. You know, your guess is as good as mine. (laughs) Your guess is as good as mine. He'll do with that. A stray thought in the back of his mind as he picks up the tiefling man, uh, newlywed style, and starts heading back towards his friends. (laughs) <laughs> does the does the hole just heal from the inside as the chicken noodle soup makes its way through intestines that aren't there? Pro- I don't know. How does <laughs> how does healing work in 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 Isifred? It depends on the kind of magic that someone uses. You know, it's it's okay. like wholesome if, if magical a, like, cooking. Yeah. So you just <laughs> you just you just hear the. <laughs> The breath of the wild cooking sounds as it goes through his tummy. It <laughs> <laughs> just heals it as... Ah, as the way it. you described it is you were pulling the thing out as you were feeding him the chicken noodle soup. I'd imagine it's kind of like Hellraiser. Just like Uncle yeah. Frank coming back together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, you succeed and uh, he kind of comes to... Are you just princess carrying him? Are you fireman lifting him? No, uh, very yeah, princess, a uh, prince to princess, yeah, newlywed Aww. to the across the threshold. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody! <laughs> uh. <laughs> I would love, I would love a Happy Valentine's Day, everybody compilation of this stream. <laughs> of all the streams, I'm sure there are plenty of moments. Um, he just kind of he wakes, he wakes up in your arms, looks up to your face, cradles it. No, um. <laughs> <laughs> it was always. He, <laughs> uh, he he looks into your eyes and kind of around him like, D- am I um, am I dead? Uh, no, <laughs> almost. But you had my soup and now you're better. You cured me with soup. You're welcome. Gosh, meeting so many interesting people this week. Um, well, uh, you want to see you. what killed you? Almost killed uh, you. Um, I feel like you're going to show me anyway. We break through the trees uh, into the area where the thing is. Um, you you see an unconscious, incapacitated uh, Aloro, who we had to say goodbye to meta game. Uh, which is why they got encapped by a monster. <laughs> for, for brevity. Um, Aluro, a f- are you a okay? Freak, he'll, freak he'll, accident. <laughs> he'll, he'll ask the man in his arms if he's okay. Um, I'm, uh, yeah, just a little. Okay, he'll sh- drop him unceremoniously <laughs> and rush to Aluro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> um, Beefon, you see. The uh, familiar from your ride here, Octal Gerba, uh, tiefling who found great interest in you and uh, you had a little sparring match with. Mm. So, is first thing. Now. <clears throat> uh, first thing is I whisper to Tarquin keep an eye on the beast and whatever you do. Don't let her take credit for the hunt. I'll be right back. I got this. Don't worry. It's ours. I'm, I know you do. <laughs> she seems like your type of people. Then I head over with uh, with Aluro. Put her beside Ludo so that Ludo can take care. Thank Ludo for helping out my friend. And the first thing I ask him is... <laughs> So where's our buddy? You know, that's an excellent question. Survival was never her strong suit. Um, In fact, all of my accomplices uh, somehow failed to make it here. We had quite the argument trying to decide which direction to pursue. Um, Turns out I was right, but at what cost? He kind of just looks into the the near distance. (laughs) (laughs) Sees the the door to death closing that he didn't quite go through. <laughs> so you came here by yourself? Oh heavens no! They're they're all in the forest, fucking somewhere. I don't know. Huh. How you doing? I mean, well, you know. Other than this, 
being impaled, yes, it was rather an unfortunate experience. Very interesting, though. It didn't feel the way I thought it would. You know, I thought it would be, like, just very painful. And, I mean, it was. It killed me. But um, it, it, was, it was more like, like a feeling of something being drained away, you know? It's mm. rather intriguing. Um, is this your friend? And kind of thumbs to Ludo. This is Ludo, looking cleric extraordinary. Mm. Yes, he healed me with his soup. Uh, he does that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she won't wake up, Alan. Uh, <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, when I arrived here, I got paired up with these four. Um, this one over here, Tarquin back there. How you doing, Tarquin? Hello there. Nice to meet you. Hi, hello. My, he's and, quite, uh, uh, quite... Hang on, I need to roll real quick. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh Could be the first? <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping for that one. <laughs> I was really hoping for that one. Um, that is literally another nat one. I am not doing so hot today mm. on on the rolls. Um, oh man, that's so sad. Um, yeah, I've not the foggiest of of um, what was his name? Get out of my face before I impale you again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just just go just go watch no, the bees. Go well talk to your friend day. over there. I'm just saying, like, I really like his hair. Like, do you, do you know if he's like... Oh, the dude's immaculate. I don't know what he does. Just, yeah. I think he like, just wakes up like that, honestly. Well, there's only one way to find out. I don't share a room with him, unfortunately. <clears throat> well, do you uh... know if uh, he's got a spare bunk or... <laughs> Oh, is it me or oh, everyone well, is you know, like he's got a wanting piece. a piece of Tarquin? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Octo is interested. <laughs> well, um, uh, our fourth, the unconscious one over there, is the one who's bunking with him. We just kind of got thrown together. I would have joined up with you if I knew you were coming out here. Ah, uh, I, I know. That's the pity of it. We, uh, we're meeting some friends here, you see. Um, well, I'd say you see, but they got fucking lost before all of us, so... Gods know where they are, but uh, I'm sure we'll find them back on the main aisle. Um, it is at this point, um, you all hear uh, a slight kind of... I wouldn't say it's a screech, or um, like a, a, a danger noise. Danger noise. Um, but you do hear like a slight... As um, you see kind of floating down uh, from the main aisle, um, this kind of worm, like worm with a Y, a worm-like creature uh, kind of spiraling its way down um, and kind of carves up just next to all of you uh, as it flies. Um, and you see this um, fairly petite woman get off uh, happy Valentine's Day. Uh, no, you see... <laughs> Dismount! Uh, happy Valentine's Day. Uh, you see... <laughs> you see her... Put her feet on the ground. And... <laughs> and, uh, she kind of, uh... Walks over to, um, Aloro. And kind of kneels down. Uh, investigating her. She has kind of, um... A very, um windswept kind of uh slightly darker powder blue hair um very similar to the pilgrim robes um from back on the main aisle so you can safely assume she's got something to do with them lot um <laughs> slightly more delicate um kind of big jodhpurs um and some gentle flats uh because who's wearing heels in this economy um a hunting festival no less um <laughs> Be fun in your mind, you're like, Umbelai's probably wearing heels. That probably doesn't help. Um, 
she kind of descends and and checks um, Aloro's pulse. Um, looks up at you, Luto. I I think she'll be fine. <laughs> she doesn't. I do the healing, and she doesn't. I don't know. Maybe she, it's some kind of poison or something. She will be fine. She just needs some rest. All right. <laughs> She's my new friend. That's great. You'll have to tell me all about her on the way back. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Is everyone else doing okay? Do we need any more healing? I think my she body looks... over here could use a little bit more. Yeah, I was gonna say we saw that from uh, up top. That seemed pretty intense. It's like, oh, what? Uh, impaling me through my intestines? Yeah, that was a little fucking bit. Um... <laughs> And uh, she'll she'll cast a healing healing spell on everybody, and you all get healed for fifteen points. Kachow! Kachow! Um, there we go. Lots of heals. Everybody's doing fine. Uh. Allura's unconscious, but that's okay, because everybody got healed. <laughs> um, except the Wolganon who's dead. Um, <laughs> rip my baby. <laughs> um, <laughs> so sad. Um, <laughs> and she just looks around and goes, Well, uh, congratulations are in order, I believe, to your team. I just got sent down here as soon as uh, we saw things kick off a little bit. Ludo's starting to gather himself and he says, Qu Question, please. Yes, of course. The body of the monster, who gets to keep that? Uh, she <laughs> she kind of, her eyes just dart to the side like, Um... You know what? We'll get back up to the main island, and I will ask uh, Mistress Ikta, and we'll see from there. Does that sound like a plan? Okay. Because I know hunters are ones for keeping trophies of everything, so... Hmm, kind of. Kind of? Not really a trophy, more like a portion. Multiple oh. portions of... The meat. Maybe some of the organs. It, is it safe? Oh, I uh, I hope so. <laughs> you know, uh, you know what? Uh, reach out to me. Uh, I'll give you a sending stone when we get back up there. I'll give you a sending stone so you can call me just to make sure that you don't poison yourselves. Does that sound like a good deal? Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Um, well, I'm hearing that the ships are being sent back down now, so unless there's anything you all need in the meantime, uh, I'm going to go and try and find the others who are still lost in the forests. Oh, um, where are my manners? Uh, my name is Yor. As in Y-O-R, not... Y O U R E. Why O U R E? Well, your your your. Who are I'm... your your? <laughs> Who's mine? No, your. Your your. Your your y your. Y O R. Your your the healer. I'm the healer. I am. I'm the... not a healer by trade, but I do try to heal where I can. Huh? Hang on. You're correct. She sees Tarquin, and I need to roll. Ooh. <laughs> She's gonna die. Um, Tarquin, roll an insight check for me, please. At All disadvantage. Right. No, I'll just say straight roll. I'm feeling nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling happy. <laughs> Keep the DM happy. She'll make you roll it straight instead of... 16. Okay, I'll send you a message. Oh, I love secrets. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be a day where I'm going to be like, 
come to the secrets uh, channel in the Discord, and everyone's just gonna be yeah. like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I love that shit. My friend does it to us all the time. It's like, wait, no, what's going on? What's going on? I felt bad once, though. I was in there for 20 minutes, and we came back, and the other players were like, did you die? Are you okay? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I think I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> is now a good time for maybe a little intermission? I think so. All right. Yes. So we'll say you all head back onto the boats with your with your horn <laughs> and your friends in tow. And as the ships return back to the main aisle, we're gonna go for a break. Hooray. Uh, back uh, what, five, ten minutes? What do you think? Ten minutes. Okay. That was a, that was a big oh, fight. It was. Holy uh, moly. So we're gonna do a quick little BRB. We'll be back in ten minutes. See you all back here at 4.15 PST. Woo-woo. Or whatever is in ten minutes right now for you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Be our be everybody. <laughs>
the stream. Hello, we are back. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. How are y'all doing? How, how are y'all faring? Y'all had a heart attack from that fight in the beginning where I almost killed JC. It's pretty Me brutal. Too. It was a pretty <laughs> brutal first hit. We were saying, though, it kind of worked out perfectly because it was enough to put the fucking wind up everybody. Um, <laughs> but then it, it thankfully didn't really make rear its head in that same way again. <laughs> Um, and yes, we are, we are down a nigh, unfortunately, for the end of the session, which may or may not, um, be the cause of their incapacitation, um, <laughs> but they will get some off-stream, uh, backup stuff, so they're not gonna miss out. Um, but yes! Exciting! We have, we have, we still got a, a good 45 minutes or so of session, if you guys are up for it. I'm up yeah. for it. So, yeah. <laughs> um, well, we'll say for the sake of speed and clarity and everything, um, that we will get right to the next thing because we are sadly down an eye. And uh, I believe, I believe it's like a, it's a day today. There's like a, there's something going on today. Is there? I don't know if you guys have heard. I might be mistaken. Um. But the tales of the torn veil session that we're currently in that's, that's what it is that's what it is now yeah, that's it i mean that's clearly the most important and best thing that's happening yeah. today but i think there is another thing that is occurring um, i had tacos earlier is that it <laughs> it's... taco floor juice um oh, tax no. season i guess <laughs> so as you uh return uh, back up to um, relax post post hunt <laughs> post hunt clarity. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, that's what it is. <laughs> um, you are all just chilling out in the uh, in the sun's um, sights. Yep, didn't forget. Uh, not quite. <laughs> and um, you are greeted by one very familiar. Slightly uh, less flustered this time. Uh, very blonde, very pink dressed uh, southern lady who approaches you all at the bar as you're hanging out with Erwin and Finney and uh, catching them up on the story of what happened. Uh, hi! How, how's everybody doing? Congrats on the success. I heard all about it. Thank you. So, uh... What are you guys up to tonight, then, huh? Up to, up to anything? Oh, we should probably celebrate. I agree, sir. I agree. You know, you know what would be really great? What? Because uh, your girl accidentally went and uh, has been promoted to head of special events for the festival. So it is my job to keep y'all entertained in the evenings, not in that way. Though, <laughs> though, um, some do say that uh, after the first hunt is the best time for a little bit of a celebration of a different nature, if you catch my drift. Huh? Congratulations on the promotion, by the way. <gasps> what? Before. I appreciate it ever so much. Um, so I'll cut to the chase. Uh, we're holding some just for funsies little uh speed dating sessions, you know. Um, we, we're calling it Love is Behind a Door, and basically, we're having one eligible bachelor or bachelorette. Um, oh, that would have been a good name. I feel like I've heard it somewhere before, though. Anyway, um, we're holding this, uh, event, so y'all can either be an eligible bachelor or bachelorette, and, uh, see if you can find a little snuggle buddy out of some of the other hunters that are here. What do you say? It sound like fun? Huh? And here I thought the hunt was the action. Ah, well, I mean, it, it kind of is, you know, uh, 
depending on, well, I mean, I guess it depends on your uh, flirtation stylings. We are behind the door, or we are on the other side of the door? Well, that's up to you, darling. Do you feel like you can go toe-to-toe with your allies here for an eligible bachelorette? There'll be multiple rounds, of course, so you'd all get a chance to find a date for the evening. Or you can all be the eligible bachelors. Ask some ladies or some gentlemen of your persuasions some questions. Pick the one you like the most, and the whole time, you don't get to see their faces. So you don't know if they're cooking good looking or, uh, fucking ugly, (laughs) you know, (laughs) until after you've picked. Ludo is looking to his companions with, uh, an eager Ah. smile. Act like I've been here before. (laughs) (laughs) What can go wrong, right? (laughs) That's the spirit. So, let's say, do you want to be the eligible bachelors, or do you want to go toe-to-toe with each other? For a lady... Ludo's still just you know smiling. what? <laughs> you know what? She she sees you smiling. I'll take choice number two. <laughs> she she'll boop your nose and just go. You seem like a very eligible bachelor, sir. I think you would die to have three women or otherwise folks of your persuasion going after you, wouldn't you? Uh, yeah, that would yeah. be very nice. Yeah. All right. And you talk with him. What are you feeling? Um. Gonna fight beef on for a lady? Or a gentleman? I don't judge. I just. I need to stop defaulting to uh, sexual stereotypes. No uh, I don't know. The only fighting I know is with my fist, so. Well, maybe. Sure. Maybe you can choose then. Okay. Well. Uh, as before, as, uh, as before, you have about 15 minutes, so come on down and head over to the tent whenever you're ready. Um, let's say you go first, big guy. You seem real confident in booking a lady, don't you? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, I'll see you there, toodles! And she just walks away. Finny and Ir- like, if you turn back to see Finny and Irwin, they're just, like, sh- just so confused by this bitch. Um... <laughs> All right, well, I'll tell you now. Uh, ideally, find somewhere else to do all of that shit tonight. Uh, yeah, that's all. I don't, I don't want to do extra cleaning. That'll be uh, we'll have to add some, add some funds to uh, you'll have to add some funds to my pocket if you want to be doing that shot upstairs. I am so a gentleman, I won't make a mess. Uh, well, I mean, it's not a case of me being persuaded, it's more like putting down a deposit for if I have to clean up a deposit, Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Love is Behind the Door, was it? That's, that's a shite name, they really need to come up with something else than that. <laughs> I really like the name. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> this is very exciting. Last night we were in a play and now we're going to be on a show for finding a love of our life. We're just I'm, natural I entertainers. Mean, she definitely seems to be drawn to you. I wonder why. He <laughs> just kind of rolls his eyes and <laughs> goes back and pours himself an ale. Oh, well, jolly good luck, fellas. I'm, I'm sure it will all go swimmingly for you. Guys, when was the last time you were with a lady? Or uh, anybody? Before mm. I came here. Days, came weeks? Here. 
I've been here for about uh, two weeks, I'd say. Travel time and all that. Well, I met this cat the other week. She was an absolute darling. Uh, um. Sorry, I don't know why I said that. That's rather too much information. I'm going to go back to napping now. <laughs> <laughs> he just, just curls up in his basket. <laughs> Hides his face. <laughs> was in the roof, screaming at 3 a.m. <laughs> what about you, Tarquin? When was the last time you were with somebody? Uh, I don't usually get involved with the people, but uh, I think it has been a while now. Well, maybe okay. tonight all you have to do is beat beep on. <laughs> Let's see what fortune brings us then. <laughs> so, you're having this discussion as you make your way back to the familiar tent, uh, which has been made up with um, a variety of pink throws and cloths and sparkles. Um, it, it occurs to you at this point that... Uh, the lovely Fenay is is some form of bard because this has bard energy written all over it. Make of that what you will. Um, and uh, you see that indeed on the stage there is a chair on one side um, and then a door, <laughs> a pink door, uh, a hastily painted pink door, and then on the other side of the door are three chairs. Um... <laughs> Uh, very ideally. So, um, yes. Um, she kind of hurries to you backstage and says, uh, Bayfon and Tarquin, you can watch uh, the first round from the audience if you wish, and then we'll call you up for your round if that sounds good. Sounds fair to me. Wonderful. Feel free to watch beforehand. And she <laughs> just kind of <laughs> ushers. <laughs> Ushers, um, <laughs> Ludo onto the stage. The curtains are drawn. Oh, wait, wait, so wait, 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 wait. No, but there, nobody can see yet. The curtains are still uh, closed. Okay, before we're separated, he'll hold up a hand and wait, wait, wait. Uh, guys, I'm, I'm nervous. Do you, do you have any advice? Oh no. Act like uh, you've been there before. Oh, okay. Yes, just smile and be charming, and you'll get all the beautiful people in the world that you like. Hopefully, ladies. I like the ladies. Okay. That makes two of us, my friend. Good luck. <laughs> Do I need a whole friends for you? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> keep him with you. Oh. Ladies he... love pets. Oh, okay, good. Come on. Maybe we'll find a little bird for you too, Prince. <laughs> okay, a big bird or a cat, whatever you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so you get seated and Fene is just like cleaning you up and adjusting your hair and everything. Yeah, I have your hat Walden back a bit, on so. guts on me and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll say there's been plenty of time to clean up if you have so wished. Okay, um, yeah. Uh... Okay, is there anything else you want to check? Uh, so I, I go through the door and then I talk to them? Uh, so you'll ask them three questions. Um, well, you'll, you'll ask all of them a question and they'll all answer the same question. And then you'll ask them two more questions and so on and so forth. And then you pick one to go on a date with. Okay, what questions do I ask them? That is up to you. You can say, you know, what would your ideal date be? What's your favorite food? Uh, if you were stuck in an escape room or a dungeon, like, what is one item you would want to have with you? What's your favorite animal? Um, anything, really. Okay, okay, uh, I'll, okay. I have, okay, I have some, I have some. I, ideally not like yes or no questions, because that keeps it pretty closed off. Oh. Um, okay. Yeah. I, I've been I've been here before, so. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, we're gonna start in a second. All right. Okay. 
You ready, big man? Oh, yes. I've been here before, so. Okay. <laughs> Okay, wonderful. Um, and she's gonna pull, magically pull the curtains open. Um, and you hear. So, fun story. I forgot to play this last week during the play, but mm. thankfully, we have a new reason to use it. And we shall. <gasps> Exciting. <laughs> it's perfect for this. Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and everybody in between. My name is Fenella Desai, and we are here tonight to celebrate love. You see just glittery heart sparkles puff around her. Um, she's clearly having a blast. Now, today, our first contestant is Mr. Ludo! Everybody give it up for Ludo! Um, you see one of the Ludo. same half-orc dudes from yesterday just being like, oh, I thought that was only like a one-night thing that they were doing, and now there's like another night thing? What the fuck? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sitting here Ludo, at my you... desk waving. <laughs> I, just, I caught myself actually waving. Yes! Immersion! <laughs> <laughs> chat, wave back. <laughs> um, chat, you are seconding for the audience in this. Uh, <laughs> you do see your friends, Ludo, uh, sitting at the front, uh, chilling out, watching you, cheering for you. I wave. Now, tell us a little bit about yourself, Ludo. Oh, I am a chef, and I like to go around and cook all kinds of meals for all of the people and all of the ingredients. Wow, so we got a chef on our hand, ladies and gentlemen. Well, today we have three wonderful ladies, all very excited to go on a date with you, all right? So you get to ask them three, hear that three questions to see if you fit each other's preferences let's say does that sound like a good plan yay <laughs> okay wonderful so we're gonna bring on the women and you hear cheers and such happen from the crowd um for the for the sake of excitement um i will not tell the group what these women look like or potentially who they are until after the fact, because okay. surprise, you know, we don't want to, we don't want to be meta game in a dating game. Sure. God forbid. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the contestants enter, some of which you may recognize, some of which you may not recognize. Um, let me just get them up here. Uh, I'm so excited for this music. This is Me so too. perfect for it. <laughs> um. Okay. So, right, the ladies have appeared. What is your first question? Hello, I am Luto Bayani, and I am a chef. I can cook anything and everything whatever you want so uh what do you want to cook what do you want me to cook for you uh you hear all of them when you announce your name go hi ludo uh, <laughs> um you hear uh the first uh contestant go "Ooh, that's a really difficult question um i rather like a stew Stew is very nice. Uh, I'm fairly simple, but I'm very open to trying new things. Happy Valentine's Day. Woo! Happy okay. And our, <laughs> and our second lady. Uh, um, I guess I, I guess I really like pastries. Um, yeah, pastries are good. Okay. okay, and lady number three. Oh, <laughs> well, 
I'd say anything tastes good if it's coming from you, Luto. <gasps> and everyone in the crowd's like, oh, shit. Ooh. Can we uh, see him like, from afar? Yes, you can You can see this all going I down. I give him a thumbs up with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then she goes, um, no, but I, re I really like posh food. <laughs> Oh. But like anything tastes good coming from you. <laughs> but posh, posh food, expensive food. Yeah. <laughs> like, all right. So that's our first round from the ladies. Uh, what is your second question, sir? Okay. This one's very important. I am very big. I am very, very big. Think of <laughs> most of your friends. I am bigger than most of your friends. Is that going to be a problem for you? Uh, the first woman pipes up. No, I don't think so. That's not my voice. <laughs> my, my, that's a, Fanae's bringing, bringing herself into the equation, she's jelly. Uh, <laughs> um, she just goes, uh, No, I don't think it should be. Um, I don't see why it would be. More to hug. So everyone's like, oh, it's so nice. <laughs> just like these really burly, like fucking hunters in the back, just getting real into this. <laughs> just like, oh, oh, that's so sweet. That's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, the second lady goes, uh, I mean, push-ups are cool, but I'm not gonna body shame anyone if that's what you're asking. It's like, okay, that's cold but fair. Cold but fair. Cold but fair. <laughs> um. And the third person uh, goes, <gasps> Big, you say. The more the merrier. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> That's what oh, she wow. said. Literally, she just said it. <laughs> yes! All right, Mr. Ludo, you have one question remaining. What would you like to ask these lovely ladies before you make your choice for your date for the evening? Uh, Fanny, please, uh, if I can make a clarification on my last question, please. <laughs> uh, <sh> sure. <laughs> uh, ladies, I am very glad that you are accepting of my body shape, but I meant more for sex. <laughs> I am very big. It has been a problem in the past. Uh, sometimes it's not work and then, uh-oh, they, it, it, they get hurt or somebody get upset. I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm saying for, for that one, I, I once with the happening lady, she got crushed almost. I have to healing, I have to cure wounds. Um, so the, for the clarification third. lang only... Uh, the, do you have to change your answer, maybe? The third, the third bachelorette who went last just goes. Mine still, my my comment still stands. The more, <laughs> the merrier. Everyone's like, oh shit. <laughs> um, the 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 second uh, bachelorette just goes. Uh, you think I'm fucking intimidated by your dick or some shit? No, it's totally fine. I guess. Um, and the first Ooh. goes. <laughs> and the first, um, that that sounds quite intense, but you know, it's not all about that. Um, I don't think I'd break though. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> and if I did, then there's all the more to fall back on. Everyone's like, oh, like she means a hug. Oh. <laughs> um. Okay. I don't know who that was. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, Mr. Ludo, have you got any preferences or do you need one final deciding question? Is there anyone you're not feeling the vibe of? Uh... I can give you an additional question if you would like. Uh, the, the, the last question is very short. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, okay. Ladies of love is behind the door. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. Do you like me? <laughs> um, 
number two immediately chimes in. Uh, I don't fucking know you, and you don't know me. Uh, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I'm slightly confused by it. I'm not gonna lie. I do uh, not like number two. I, I'm just saying I'm not here to trust people immediately. Well, you are on love is behind the door. <laughs> That's kind of how it goes. Yeah, well, I'm just saying. I'm just. I'm speaking my truth. <laughs> um. Number number one goes. You do sound really nice. I'd love to spend some more time with you. For sure. Is that oh? Uh, and number three goes. Honey, lad. That's not her voice either. Jesus, <laughs> you know, I'm becoming. I'm becoming one with every everything. <laughs> um, <laughs> she just goes. <laughs> uh, she giggles and she's like. <laughs> oh, sweetie, of course I like you. Who wouldn't? Other than number two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, between number bachelorette number one and bachelorette number three, who would you like to go for? But before I tell you which... <gasps> I'm going to say something. One of these women is a spiritual guide in training. <gasps> what is that? So, so like, she prays a lot and she wants to go on a pilgrimage. Oh. Yeah. Oh. The... And someone just goes, that's not really dirt, man. Like, there are, like, so many of those here. <laughs> uh, good luck doing a lot of walking after that. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy <laughs> Valentine's Day. <laughs> well, you've not been to the sex shrine yet. <laughs> Holy, is that a place? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Penny, I, mean, I have come to my decision. <gasps> All right, it's been a. What would you like to pick? I choose bachelorette number three. I am here for a short time, not a long. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. You're here for a sh short time. Well, congratulations. But before we show you your bachelorette, we're going to show you who you could have gone on a date with. And I mean, technically, you still can. There's nothing in the uh, we didn't get you sign a contract or not. Um, and you see Bachelorette number two come out first. Uh, you see... Um, <laughs> you see what looks like uh, one of the uh, security guards for the island. Um, <laughs> and she's uh, seemingly just kind of a, a human woman um, with long dark hair. Very Rosa Diaz vibes from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Totally the vibe I got. Yeah, uh, and she just goes, you know, my name's Willa. I'd say you're missing out, but you probably made the right decision. She just needed another girl. <laughs> she Thank goes you for very fist bump. much, Willa. <laughs> she dead ass goes for a fist bump. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Dap it up. All right, bet. Enjoy. Um, <laughs> she just leaves. Um, <laughs> the entire area, not just the, not just the <laughs> stage. Just pieced out. And our second bachelorette, we have Meridim Telnap, bachelorette number one. Um, you see this adorable uh, Janasi Bean. Um, she's like 5'3". Um, she's got a little bit of chub. Um, and you see kind of um, just hovering above her shoulder, you see she's got a little robin. Like a little mechanical oh, no. robin. Oh we could have been friend buddies. I'm sorry, friends. <laughs> <laughs> and she just goes, uh, there's no hard feelings. Um, I met one of the shrines if you want to visit. Um, and I okay. do want to go on a pilgrimage. But maybe I'll see you on the way. And she heads off stage and goes and sits in the audience. Um, Thank you. And now to reveal your bachelorette and the... the and she gestures for the door for you to open, because love is behind the door. 
Oh, okay. Ludo stands up and he <laughs> throws the door wide. Um, behind it, um, Bifon, you recognize this woman. <laughs> Are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> um, and you see um, this high elven woman just drop dead diva gorgeous. Like her and Fene look like they could be fucking sisters from another mister. Um, she's got some uh, kind of bardic, very um, flowy robes on, very put together. Um, and she comes through the door and giggles and like gives you a little peck on the cheek with her like her leg lifted up behind her like <laughs> Princess Diary style. <laughs> and she just goes, "My name's Umberly Foransworth. It is so wonderful to meet you, Luto." Ludo. Uh, pleasure to meet you, Ambalai. I've been here before. And he picks her up and he swings her around in a big <laughs> hug. <laughs> full 360 spin and then wave at the audience. <laughs> Are then, you still carrying her? And then I'll look, yeah, yeah. And I'll look at like Tarquin and Bifon. I'll be like, dude, like, you know, do the thing like that, where my head is and where her head is, like the height difference. <laughs> ah, ah, look, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I you don't know which one's going to break who. You can put me down now. <laughs> oh, no, I can't. Thank you very much, Fine. And he starts walking um, off with her once you can, more. If you go the other way, well, oh, we okay. have the um, a romance. Uh, well, you can sit in the audience for now so you can see the rest of the show, but nope. then you can make your way to the special romance <laughs> tent for a meal. He's Special oh. romance tent. Come on, Ambalai. Please put me down. Put me down. Put Bye, everybody. Me down. <laughs> Bye. I, I, I look to Bifon and I say, you want to bet if she's alive after this? <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> oh, you know, Meriden would have been so I think perfect, we might be down but... a party member, though. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so might fucking Octol at this rate. Jesus. Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> you know, it wasn't the option I was expecting, but it was the option we all deserved. All right. Yeah, you know, not who I thought. You know, like Ludo Ludo chose that, not JC. No, <laughs> I, 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 like I understand. Ludo came <laughs> forth and made the decision. It was, it was perfect. All right. So, um, the, you, um... Uh, Tarquin and Bifon, you are beckoned to the stage, um, the other side of the stage, uh, to get ready to come on and um, answer questions uh, from a bachelor. A potential, uh, she just goes, um, do you mind if it's a bachelor or a bachelorette? Are you open or... Because we got a few different folk back there. But if you're not bothered, we can just pick someone and see what goes on. Tarquin specified women, so we'll go with women. We can go with a woman, that's no worries whatsoever. All right, wonderful times. Um, so I'll introduce our bachelorette first. I was going to say your friend will be in the audience watching you, but I don't think he will. Um, and uh, please enjoy. Good luck, fellas. This um, is going to be something. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you hear the applause as the bat the bachelorette is brought on, um, and uh, oh no, I can't find her name. I can't find her name. Where is she? <laughs> oh no. Um. Yes. Okay. Um. Uh, no, I still can't find your name. Uh, I'll find. <laughs> Where is she? She ran away. Um, no, she's here. Uh, dee -dee -dee. Pardon my uh, pause. Okay, yes. Um, so you see her come onto the stage, uh, and she's like, um, yeah, hi. Uh, I'm Amelia Darfinavad. 
uh, visiting here for the hunting festival. Uh, you know, uh, not the smartest uh, tool in the in the um, in the cupboard, <laughs> but uh, I got there's a lot of me to love, and I'm here for it. So uh, bring it on. Thank well. Wonderful! Let's bring on the bachelors! And you see there is you two. Um, and also Erwin has somehow since also been roped into this. <laughs> and is next okay. to you. Erwin? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, don't, don't fucking ask. She paid a lot. So, Amelia, what questions have you got for your Brains. All right. Um, I would say if you got stung on the ass by a jellyfish, what would you do? Well, no, wait. If I got stung on the ass by a jellyfish, what would you do? Uh, bachelor number one. Uh, that would be Tarquin. If you got stung... Hmm. Well, um, I would examine the sting to determine the severity, and then I would avenge you by destroying that creature in your honor. Oh, that's that's pretty <laughs> intense. I, like I it. love that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, bachelor number two. Which is you, Beefle? Well, if you got stung on the ass by a jellyfish, then I guess I'd have to spank you on the other cheek to take your mind off the pain. Oh my god, I never thought of that. That's like so clever. Holy shit. All right, uh, bachelor number three? Uh, yeah, I'd piss on it. Uh, um, not my thing, my guy, not my thing. Uh, can I, like, eliminate him now, or? Uh, not, not yet. You can do that after the third question. All right, That's damn. Answer. Uh, so, okay, uh, another question, another question. Uh, let me see, all right. Um, those are some good answers, goddamn. If, uh, if I died, what would you leave at my grave? I know, like, you don't know me, but I figured I'd ask. Well, that's a very uh, morbid question, but uh, let's see what our bachelors have to say, bachelor number one. Mm, I guess I would uh, leave her a token of my undying charm and charisma right next to her grave and put a... she... she met... can I say my name? <laughs> you, okay. totally, you certainly... I'm, no one's gonna stop you. <laughs> no one can she, stop you. <laughs> she was a great person and met Tarquin. <laughs> she knew his, his name. Gonna roll real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, oh, cool, who's Tarquin? Ah. <laughs> she got a natural six. Um. <laughs> you lose two Tarquin points, lady. <laughs> uh, right, uh, bachelor number two. I'm dead. Why are you putting on my grave? Mm. I would leave you a cosmic mixtape of all of your favorite tunes in a single rose. Oh my god. Is that just like a regular mixtape, but from space? It's it's I, like like a is tunes. It's like a little bag, and when you open it, you could just hear songs come out of it um, from uh, all the bards across the world. Hey, all that's fucking romantic as shit, bro. I like it. Uh, bachelor number three. I mean, I have to ask. I guess. 
Uh, well, you know, for the- I mean, you try to eliminate me, and it's not even the time to eliminate someone, so I will re-enter my answer to the first question as my answer to this question also. Ah, uh, yeah, go fuck yourself too, buddy. Uh, okay, cool. Um, glad we're on the same page. Always a good thing. Communication's important. Uh, okay. Uh, so I like to, uh, eliminate- Not this round. Shit. Uh, I mean, are you? Are you taking? I'm not part of this competition. Alright, I, I was just checking. Uh, no worries. Um, okay, third question. Uh, I grow a beard. What's your reaction? Bachelor number one. Hmm, well, um, as tempting as it may be to hide uh, that handsome and beautiful face behind the beard, um, perhaps uh, a, sh a haircut or a shave would be better. Mm. Interesting answer. Bachelor number two. Now I can pull on you from both ends. I'm pulling a face right now, I wish you could see it. Uh, Bachelor number three, I'd ask, but I feel like you'd say the same answer as one and two. I, I would. Alright, okay. Uh, I'd like to eliminate number three, please. Um, <laughs> uh, one last question for funsies. Let me see. Um, okay. There is a herd of stampeding beasts, like Buffalo and shit, right? And it's coming right towards us. Uh, there won't be time to get out of the way by going either side. What do you do? And this time, I'm gonna start with you, Bachelor Number Two. I would leap up into the air, landing on top of the stampede, and then I would run atop that stampede until it passed. Heckin' nice, bro. Uh, bachelor number one, what about you? Well, we could, uh, avoid it, and I could show off my impressive agility, just letting you know how much, how high we can jump. Of course I can take you with me. I wouldn't leave you to die. No, of course not. You gotta introduce me to that Tarquin fella. Um, alright, uh, I think I've made my decision. Okay, and who are we gonna go with? I'm gonna go with... Uh, bachelor number two. He seems sick. I mean, the others do as well, but in different ways, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I'd probably jam with number one, but he seems a little bit kind of intense for for me. Um, and Finney just goes, Oh, commiserations, bachelors numbers one and three. But if you could uh, show yourselves and you see Erwin go around first. And she just goes, yeah, no, no offense. We'd be friends. Wait, you're the guy at the fucking bar. Ah, oh, fuck. All right. Well, my <laughs> loss, I guess. All right. Peace, dude. You're, you seem cool. Please don't piss on me. Not my thing. And he was like, ah, not mine either. I just heard it works. Yeah, well, it fucking doesn't. You fell into the trap, bro. Okay. Uh, bachelor number one, reveal yourself. That, that's my job. Look. Bachelor number one, Tarquin, reveal yourself. And right, you I, I... <laughs> yeah, yeah, go for it. I, I open the door and, hey, I salute her. I do a little reverence. And I wish her all the best with her chosen bachelor. Aw, oh, you're sweet. You'll find someone cool. For sure. It's not me. God, it's absolutely <laughs> not me. But you'll like, you'll find someone for sure, for sure. Like, you're gonna come out of here, like, people gonna be queuing up to see you, you know what I mean? Oh, yes, and they will remember my name. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Sorry. I, uh... It is Tarquin. <laughs> oh, you're Tarquin! Of course. Wait, so you're gonna put your name on my grave? That's really confusing. Because yes. then people it's will a, think that you It's an you act die. of love. No, Imagine. I no, I get that, but it it just like from a from a outsider's perspective, it's gonna be really confusing seeing your name on a grave. 
Yeah, or like the, next to a grave. Yeah. The problem is that uh, if people see that name, they will try to rob the grave because it's going to be worth a lot of gold. But that means they right. won't rob your corpse, so that's actually good. You know, that's no, I, 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 pre I see the sentiment and the strategy, and I do appreciate it. Um, you see Fanae just trying to, like, applaud you off. <laughs> and failing miserably. Uh, thank you, my dear. Um, no, yeah, I give, cool. I give her a little wink to, to Fanae. Alright, cool. <laughs> Doesn't do anything for me, but I appreciate it. Um, alright, cool. Bachelor number two! Let's freaking go. And she goes up to the door. And she opens it. And what does she see before? I were you in the stampede? I didn't catch that part. I didn't know that I was supposed to do with the hi. Hi. We don't know each other. Like <clears throat> the the part of the like situation wasn't that we were in a relationship at the time. I'm not going to take it personal. I didn't know you were there with the How how are you how are you doing? Um Yo, what's up? What what's up? What's your name? Bifon. The Bifon? stairs. The Bifon stairs? the stairs. Yes. That is the, the best stairs. fucking name I've ever heard in my goddamn life. Isn't it great? It's so good. Like I bet I get I bet bitches just like fall to their knees when they hear your name, dude. Happy Valentine's Day. What's that? I have well no idea done. for some reason <laughs> my party members keep saying it. <laughs> Well done, so you can hang around in the audience, or you can uh, make your way towards the tents if you wish. She's like, hey, I'm kind of hungry. I don't know about you. Yeah, let's go get something. I'm not gonna go to some pretty lice-infested tent. Hell Especially yeah. not anywhere near that one that is shaking incredibly violently. <laughs> Let's go. Um, <laughs> well, uh, There's another we're storm. Gonna, we're going to take a quick break. Um, everybody, chat amongst yourselves for a moment. Uh, and Fene leaves the stage. Um, as you leave the stage, Tarquin, um, <laughs> uh, you see a couple of people uh, kind of loitering around um, for various reasons, which we can totally roll insight on. Um, you see Yor from earlier, um, kind of um, just loitering around, having a ch gentle chat to people, nothing too serious or formal. Um, you also see Octal Jerba, who is... Um, just very at the first glance just very casually leaning on a table uh just just relaxing not doing anything in particular just gazing at the at the evening sky what would you like to do i want to go see your <laughs> <laughs> you, would you like to roll an insight check on octal for shits or getting giggles or do you just want to head for your either is valid <laughs> oh, okay, okay, let's 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 see. You don't have to. I'm just putting it out there as an option that you can <laughs> take or leave at your discretion. Oh I got a twenty. Natural twenty. <laughs> I can see everything now. This is a man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this this is a man who is doing his best to not look like they're in dis like predisposed they're they're not you know caught up in their own brain thinking playing a scene over and over again in their head thinking about how they could have said something different maybe things could have gone differently they weren't gonna try and approach you before the dating game that was about to happen and then see you on stage and then get zoned out and freaked out about it because they were gonna talk to you but then you're like on stage looking for a bachelorette and like is this man's having a crisis <laughs> but he's like trying to play it off real cool and and also genuinely appreciating the stars but mostly having a bit of a having a bit of a crisis all right uh well i'm, I'm gonna go and and see if i can help him b 
be a little more relaxed because he seems too nervous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, he um, pretends to not see you coming. Um, <laughs> yes. Oh! Um, Tarquin, was it? Yes. Yes, Wonderful you remember evening. my name. Good. I, I mean, it's a hard name to forget. Don't meet many Tarquins. I never met anyone with my name. It would be, it would be something very special. I would have to kill that person. <laughs> there oh. can only be one Tarquin. <laughs> I see. Intense. Intense. I understand it though. I haven't really met any other octal jabbers. I'm not sure what would happen if I did meet another. I suppose punch them in the face, you know. Exactly. No one can tarnish your name. Yeah. No. No. Um. How, how can I help you, friend? How did the um dating game go? I, I assume you were taking part in it. Yes, I was, but um, I guess I didn't uh, end up with anyone in the end. <laughs> with your nat twenty from earlier, you just in his eyes you see the faintest glimmer of hope, just <laughs> like a shooting star in the night. It's there and then it's gone. Um, or out of sight. Oh! Gosh, I'm ever so sorry to hear that. Well, this table is big enough for two. Um, no, I we can share a few drinks. Oh! Drinks! Um, of course. What else did you have in mind? We can share drinks. <laughs> um, in his mind... Um, yeah, in his mind... You sense happy Valentine's Day. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, okay, I'm I, killing him. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, like just salt in the wound, just lemon, lemon, fucking hot sauce, just. <laughs> um. Oh, um, you know, just somewhere quiet. Um, hey, you know, um, I actually have uh. Some cool stuff I could share with you if you wanted. Such as? Like a little bit of info about um, the hunt tomorrow. Ooh. Seeing as your group got through, of course. Yes, we actually hunted the beast, so if you have information, I'm all ears. Well, buy me that drink and it's a done deal. It's a done deal. Wonderful. Uh, I think there's a wine tent over there that uh, I'd say it has my name on it, but it, do it doesn't literally have my name on it. Like, I'd have to punch it if so, and you'd have to kill it if it had your name on it. But, you know, Indeed. metaphorically speaking, <laughs> it's calling out to my soul. Um, I have a void that needs filling. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, um, no. <laughs> mostly from where I was impaled earlier. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. That must have hurt. Happy Valentine's Day. Ah, oh, there are things that hurt more than physical injuries. But come, let us go and uh, drink away, celebrate the night. I will follow you then. Let's go. Um, and as you all head to varying tents with varying, uh, romantic interests, um, for the evening, um, we shall call it there and Yay. resume at this very point next week because we need to know what's happening in them tents. <laughs> <laughs> we need to know. <laughs> Oh, yeah. There's going to be a murder. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be a lot of a lot of dexterity saving throws. Con saves. Um, con saves. Con saves. <laughs> um, Umbelai is going to be fighting for her goddamn life. Um, Octal already did, and now he's going to uh, have to deal with maybe one of the harshest falls to reality he'll ever experience. Uh, <laughs> And uh, what I will say, though, is that were um, one uh, Ludo with the group instead of 
uh, somewhat kidnapping a woman, somewhat lightly kidnapping a woman. Um, at least that's what I should tell the courts. Uh, he would have he would have seen one Amelia Duff in a, I totally forgot to tell you uh, what she was um, she is a dragonborn woman um, mm. kind of a uh, like a brick red orangey color and unbeknowingly to everybody Ludo would have recognized her name and recognized her what? But I guess we'll just have to address that next week. Oh Gotta end with a little bit of a bombshell. <laughs> GG. GG. Oh my dog. Very GG. And of Very course, nice. we're gonna level up. Oh my god. Yeah. And you all get a feat. And there is an option for me to chaotically homebrew a feat with you, so oh, let me know if yes. that is of interest. <laughs> um, Dime, we've got yours ready. <laughs> <laughs> yours is already ready. <laughs> but yes, we shall get those get those sorted out. But Thank you very, very much for the GG session. It was a really, really fun session, Key. Thank you, mm -hmm. guys. Uh, I was worried we weren't gonna have enough time for dating games, but we had a perfect, perfect <laughs> wrap up. Thank for the you. Evening. Great. For <laughs> I, it was so hard to not say anything. I was like, I was pla planning it. I was like, ooh, it's fun. It's that was one Valentine's of the few things Day. I was thinking about. I'm like, oh, we're sessioning on Valentine's Day. Oh, I'm glad you God. came up with something. I think I even said to you last night, I was like, oh shit, it's Valentine's Day tomorrow. I'm like, <laughs> I'm sneaky. <laughs> yeah, man. And again, if you want to check out, I think the link should work. Um, I do have the link for the creature. I can't promise it'll be yeah. good. It might roll shit and impale itself. And also I forgot it does have <laughs> resistance to bludgeoning damage. But uh, y'all can, I've also tweeted it out. Um, so you can go and use the boy in your own campaigns if you want to. Mm. Appreciate it. Particularly nasty beast. What a nasty beast, eh? But yeah. Do you want a hint for next week? Yes. Well, it's not a hint for next week's uh, hunt, <laughs> but we'll reannounce it, obviously, when uh, Nye's back. But next week's hunt will not follow the rules of the regular hunts, for though there will be an announcement for the hunt, no information in particular will be given as to the information for the hunt. Oh. Bom bom! That wasn't intentional. Uh, because it is the uh, hunt of adaptability. Nice. So, it is a bit fucking crazy. Uh, I need to continue planning it in full. But it's gonna be interesting. And you will also get a reward for completing this week's hunt as well. Successfully. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, y'all just killed something with a legend reaction at level one. <laughs> uh, third level. We started at third level. Because cause you, you gotta... You gotta... Have have fun with D and D. You don't want to die with your very first hit. That would be so embarrassing. <laughs> it's <laughs> did all of that hit your largeness? You didn't die right away. Mm. Almost. No, it was yeah. The the health pool the health. I purposefully made the role for the legend reaction be like. It had like a fifty percent chance to down like a level three character. Um, that goes up if you're a magic caster. But um, shout out to my wonderful friend Andy, aka Monty, who came in here with a gift sub earlier. Um, I ran the uh, creature past him, and he he told me to make the health pool higher. I'm oh, God, I fucking did now. Because um, <laughs> he was like, "Are there going to be casters in the fight?" And I was like, "Yeah, if they can find their way to the fight." Um, <laughs> Well, foreshadowing. Uh, it's a bitch. Um, and uh, he was like, yeah, they're going to wreck his shit. So um, put the health <laughs> pool up a bit. three damn times, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, three volleys of, of 
spines. It takes a few turns to recharge, but still. Yeah, his whole thing is like... Which you guys made very hard because uh, of the persuasion um, check from Ludo. Um, his whole goal is to like just go around to everyone and do as much damage as he can to everyone. Um, mm. Even if it's a little bit of damage, like even if it's just a scrape, just get everyone's health down from max. And oh, do the spine volley and, and try and take all. out, <laughs> yeah, and try and take out nice. as many people as he can, yeah. But Very he nice. he I he like got that. panicked. That's why he kept trying to back away because y'all were just all up in his ass, and it, he didn't like it. Um, Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> no, that's a sad <laughs> one. Um, <laughs> he he yeah um, yeah. So he was panicking and just having to back off and. Uh, which is why he spine volleyed like a little bit that. earlier than he would have. Oh, bitch, I had, I've had i been thinking about this, man. I was so <laughs> proud of him, and y'all murdered him really bad. But it was good. I'm I'm very proud of you. Because sometimes it's, like, really frustrating, and you're like, oh, man, I cocked that up so bad. But I was like, I'm really proud of you guys. You fucking killed that, because he could have killed you so fucking easily. Uh... <laughs> it felt really good, though. It felt, we felt really, it felt really heroic and, like, like a good yeah high, like, genuinely exhausted <laughs> yeah oh shit that was no something. y'all yeah y'all really really did well like genuine genuinely fucking i always do this i'm like because i don't want to like pansy around people but also i'm like you know if you're just starting out this is our first major fight like we've not even had particularly any like sparring matches or any kind of role heavy initiative stuffs and I was like, I'm going full, like, strategy from the fucking get-go. Um, and hence why I was like, there will be clerics around so you don't permadie. Because permadying would have been a distinct possibility, as Octal mm. showed. Um, <laughs> Octal was unfortunate <laughs> proof of. Um, and it's only a 14 to hit, but that's, you know, just on the border of most people's ability, especially for hunting, so... Yeah, no, I was really, really proud of that fight. And um, even though it went really tits up for me, it it was still really exciting. And I thought I, I thought I clawed back for a second, and then I saw the rolls for the volley, and I was just like, oh my god, <laughs> gonna gonna cry now. <laughs> 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 well, that's that's the DM's DM's woes. Is is you've got to be. Was it? It's like with being an author it's like kill your darlings and it basically is mm. like you know if if a giant fucking spine goes through your fucking spine it's probably going to pin you to the ground and everyone's going to get advantage on you and because Nye had to leave it was like we've got to incapacitate Nye so it's not going to have a chance to try and stand up <sighs> so worked out yeah. perfectly we talk about it all the time yeah mm -hmm. super worked out perfectly yeah. um but no, that it's was like we always say, the best shit. games are the ones that come at you hard, but want you to win. Happy Valentine's Day? Uh... <laughs> no, yeah, yeah absolutely. <clears throat> yeah, and, um, you know, I'm not going to be a dick of a DM for no fucking reason. Um, yeah. Uh, no, that was freaking awesome. And the uh, RP stuff after as well. Because yeah, I, I do reward fine. both. I, mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I was, that was, I was really happy with how that went. Ludo is also Not very happy. Lady. I bet he is. Um, yeah, uh, Bifon, Bifon met Umbrelai and Octol um, in the little just practice opening session we did, and you know, when I when time appears, I'd like to do like a little prequel session with everybody, explore the backstories a little bit more. Um, but I had Octol and uh, Umberlai to hand, and yeah, Umberlai's a handful. <laughs> uh, just for the record, I'm now uh, currently accepting at any of my email addresses any uh, fanfic that you would like to write regarding oh. Ludo's fan, uh, Ludo's <laughs> night with the High Elven Lady. Yes, I will uh, put her name in chat. <laughs> Speaking of, you now have VIP status on the channel, so you can uh, put links in the chat whenever you like. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much. Yeah, it was Twilight's <laughs> idea. They got great ideas. Thank you. Oh, Twy, we love you. <clears throat> kind of harsh. Yeah, she needs to be. Yep. Oh, I even put like the voice notes in because I'm a. Don't know if you've noticed, but sometimes I get confused by the voices I give people. Um. 
Mm. <laughs> I was like, hey. damn. And and the best thing about preparing loads for D and D is that you probably won't get to two thirds of it, so you can just do that next week. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. What are what are some of your guys' highlights from today? I mean, the I fight was awesome. Something. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. I'm glad. I don't think I don't think anything can top that. At least from my point of view, that was amazing. <laughs> what can I say? I've been playing too much Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> Gone are the days of basic combat for me. I'm like, I have to do something spicy. A little bit spicy. Yeah. Yeah, the fight was super cinematic. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I also like the little RP moments, like uh, Bifon and Ludo in the bed. <laughs> in the bedroom. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> friends no. trying to escape uh, yeah oh that, that was that was impeccable yeah it only eh, occurred to me after last week's pun. session <laughs> it only occurred to me after last week's session that seagulls are criminal thieves um, oh, and masterminds no. so I was like oh yeah no he'd totally be trying to eat more of your food um <laughs> But y'all caught him because he's literally a goddamn seagull, so. Um. <laughs> and you just allowed it. You enabled it, so. Delightful. Well, I mean, He's a friend, but at what cost? <laughs> a, a, little, a little thing about Ludo is that he's he's got little s snack. He's like Batman with snacks. He's got, like, food all over him at all times. Nice. He's yes. just like every little <laughs> pocket. So I'm sure Ludo, I mean, uh, friends will have, a, you know, a great time just scouring and finding little secrets here and there yeah and then one day you'll need you'll need an energy bar and there just won't be one there friends <laughs> <laughs> it was terrifying for me because i'm over here being all immersed like i'm picturing everything that's going on in my head so then Yay. you start saying what you're saying and i'm like oh no and i immediately picture like a seagull doing the, the oh yeah, <laughs> eating the sausage all in one go. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> I know it's Valentine's Day, but I'm not doing that sound because um, I've been on the internet. Yeah. I know what happens. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's on Patreon, <laughs> and that's on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love man. the idea of friends being just like a like a bottomless pit. Just like eating yeah. way more than he possibly could all the time. I love that. He's a seagull, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically, the anaconda eating a goat reference, just for the size comparison. <laughs> it's like it shouldn't work, and yet somehow. Wait, are we talking? Some... Are we talking about friends? Or are we talking about umbrella? Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey! Hey! Yo. Sorry, I'm sorry. That was horrible. No, it's, it's, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> there's what I think in every whenever you start in a D or just playing D and D, there's always a moment where it's like, do we have to roll for dick size? Or is that just me? I don't know. I just end I'll up quit. In all of those I'll campaigns. walk. <laughs> <laughs> You'll walk. <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> But yes, and yes, please keep tweeting at us like your favorite moments and your predictions and your summaries of each episode and fan art. Oh my god, like any, any, you know, we love friends. Any friends fan art, any fan art of the gang, like it, it magical. Wonderful. I got an 18, so that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> make of that what you will. <laughs> and play his discretion. Um, and, uh, yeah, there's something else. And my brain is gone. Um, Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for coming to the stream. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. yeah. And tune in. Tune in next week where 10 sex question mark. <laughs> <laughs> We've done the hunt, but now we're doing the hunt. <laughs> and also the hunt of adaptation, which is another hunt that's actually just another hunt. Um, and 
I'm not going to reveal, but there may or may not be more homebrew monsties. <gasps> so, yeah, Grail's putting in the work. <laughs> Exciting. Yeah, but thank Flying you so much enemy, for coming by. I'm going to do friends. an athletic check off Ludo's dick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Like a spring. Gun. Not gonna Gotta go reach well. it somehow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. Oh, amazing. How light is Tarquin? Maybe we can do like a cannonball special. <laughs> I got a lot oh of acrobatics, god. so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be like boing and then he flies away <laughs> <laughs> just Alora comes back to just like the most fucking distorted <laughs> diving team i see the three of you have bonded <laughs> <laughs> was i out that long <laughs> nobody was in my room when i came back to it uh What's going on in here, we, we, guys? We, we practice so much that we have it down to perfect. So we're just all like, hop, hop, <laughs> hop. <laughs> you, you know, if if that's something you really want to do with your lives, you know, you again, we've got homebrew feats coming up. So um... we have our own way to jump from one island to the other. So that's we, we, we no longer need that. Come on, guys! I think my boats are pretty cool. <laughs> I especially like the name. <laughs> I'm gonna cry! I'm gonna go cry now. <laughs> I've literally, I literally have a list of forty names in case y'all try to surprise me with an NPC that I haven't prepared. Like, and I just boat boat just never came to mind. It was like, what are we calling them? Like boat. It's a boat. It's a boat, but in the sky. It's... I'm still just gonna call it. I could call it a sky boat. I could call it a sky sloop. Too late. No, I'm gonna it's call boat. it a boat. Boat. <laughs> it's not even a boat. If it's just or the boat, it's just a boat. No, <clears throat> nothing else. But yes, on that bombshell. <laughs> Thank you all for <laughs> for joining us so much. And same time, same time next week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot I have, a, I have a stream ending screen for this. Let's use that. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> See y'all next week. Bye. Bye. Boat. <laughs> Boat. Boat. <laughs> <laughs>